Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? Chat, <sighs> welcome. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to have you all here today. But we need to have a discussion. We need to have a discussion here, Jet. Okay. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. Mm-hmm. How dare one of you drop 25 gifted subs at 1 in the morning? Who does that? Okay. Who does that? I Settler. It's probably... It's not even here. I said her. Not even here. Just drops. Just drops 25 gifted subs at 1 in the morning. Says nothing. And leaves. Who does that? Why 25? Why? I don't get it. But I have an ambitious goal today, today, chat. I have an ambitious goal. We're gonna hit 11,000 pandas today. That's our goal. That is my goal. We are gonna hit that. Mm-hmm. We are going to hit that today. It's a weak goal. It's an ambitious goal. It is. Also, I need to do something real quick. Uh, yo, Rick, thanks for subbing. You need thanks to get the sub. We need to change something real quick. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, Trailer links for getting a sub. Mini, thank you. Appreciate that. Lost thing, thank you. Lost. Uh, low tech, Pingu. Matt, thanks for getting five subs. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I am now a Majima Panda. At least until Kiryu time. You can all thank Myrelia for that. Black Dynamite, thanks for 26 gifted subs. Holy moly. That's a lot. I appreciate that. Danger, thank you. Landis Maximus, thank you as well. Appreciate that. So, chat, we gotta talk. Chat, we got we gotta we gotta talk. Okay. So I'm looking on Twitter, right? And I see this. I see this. It's a preview for Forspoken. It's just a like is it is it wrong? To judge a game based off a single snippet? Yes. But also, this is... The... Watch it for yourself. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moosh it with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just move shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Oh! Like, is it too much? Is it too much to judge it based off that one little bit of dialogue? Yes. But I think I should stream it tomorrow. I feel like I should stream it tomorrow and we're going to we're we are going to embrace the cringe tomorrow. I think I want to stream it and truly just full on embrace the cringe. I want it. First impression always says a lot. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to embrace it. You sure you don't want to risk another Mario X Rabbids 2? I would rather play... Okay, listen to me. I would rather play... 
you know, a game and have like, I don't know. I'd rather have like a cringy two hours and have some fun with it for a bit than not do anything different. The devs said that because of the feedback, they're going to add options to reduce the all that talk. <laughs> what do you mean, reduce all that talk? What? That was a cutscene. That was just that. That wasn't. We gonna have a silent protagonist? We gonna have Link? You just do things. Make hand motions. I'm not paying $70 for a base game. Yeah, it's also 70 bucks. That's a big ask. That's a that's a pretty large ask. Oh well. We'll give it a try. I'm I'm probably gonna give it a try tomorrow. Just because. Oh well. Oh well, Chuck. I guess that just means that uh, we're going to have a good time tomorrow. Uh, Wiggle Physics, thanks for gifting six subs. Appreciate that. Endel, thanks for the Prime. Gasmica, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Uh, Melanos, thank you. Goal update. I will update it. I will update it. My, my goal today was merely that number. However high we get is however high we get. But my goal was 11,000. I'm not going to up. I'm not going to move the goal post. The goal post today was 11,000. Bonus meme, it's $70. <sighs> it's $70, but it's 80 pounds in the EU. Wait, it's 80 pounds in the EU? That that can't be right. It's euro, not pounds. What's 80? Hold on. What's 80? 80, 80 euro. That's $86. Well, 80, it's $87 in U.S. money. Holy shit. What the fuck? We're spoken is somehow 117... Wait, 100 and, 115 Australian dollar. That's... that's It's only $80. It's only $80, man. It's fine. <laughs> $80 is a huge ask for a video game. That's... That's pretty big. Bar, will you be playing Hogwarts Legacy in two weeks? More than likely, yes. It depends on whether or not my surgery has me comatose by then. I'll probably be laying in bed playing Hogwarts. That'll be a fun time. Give me something to do while I recover. It best have legit hundreds of hours of gameplay if it's $80. See, like, that's where, like, quality of the hours, like, for a game like Yakuza, I'm getting my, I'm getting my, my hours in, you know? I love that I bought this. It's I a, love that. Shut up, me. 
I love that I bought this. Granted, I got it for like $5 because it was on sale, but I would buy it for full price if I could. For more information on this, I mean, it's a little, it's a little weird because like gaming prices really haven't gone up. You know what I mean? Like how long have games been about $60? I ask you, how long have games been about $60? Because I remember picking up like Modern Warfare 2 for like $60 <laughs> brand new. Is Yakuza a $60 game? Honestly, it's more than $60. To be honest with you, it's more than $60. This game's like a hundred bucks in terms of value. Instead of increasing the game prices, they introduce microtransactions everywhere. Yeah. I just realized we're finding him in like this tiny little hallway. It's awful. How did you manage to get a hernia from sitting in a chair all day? Because I went to the gym. That's how. Mm. I started going to the gym and I hit it a little too hard. Happens from time to time. And then you give yourself a hernia. You need surgery? Well, unfortunately, uh, hernias do not fix themselves. So yes. Uh, I can't buy any of those. There we go. Uh-huh. Perfect. Now I have everything. Except for the things that I still have to buy. Cool. Weapon Master. Weapon Master Dagger. What's this? Pole. Bat. Hit back. One-handed stick. Nothing crazy. I don't want any of that. Jordan Delfer and Doggy, thank you for something. Appreciate that. Hold on. Seems a little loud. Seems a little bit on the louder side. One moment. But yeah, I'm pissed that, like... <laughs> I'm making strides to, like... You know, improve myself. And then I go fucking... I go too hard. A little too fast. 
and now I'm gonna be like eight weeks out from being able to actually work out again. I'm a little mad about it. If I can be honest with you, I'm a little mad about it. Yo, good day to you. Thank you for that. Prepare. Can't speedrun that kind of stuff? Why can't I? Why is the human body so fragile? I hope I recover. I, I, I hope I recover too. It'd be awkward if I didn't. Uh, Kevin, thank you. Appreciate that. Alright, so we're gonna do something real quick. So there's a shared storage option, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Hey, buddy. Shared. Oh, I can't do it from here. I can't, I can't do it from here. No. I wanted to give I wanted to give him zap guns. I dislocated my knee for one hour and had to take two months off working out. Ouch. That sucks, dude. That really sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. Alright, we got a couple side quests that we want to do. Uh, this bridge over there. How many quests have I even done? I've done half of the Majima stories. Half. That's quite a bit. Alright. Yeah, let's come over here. Out of my way. Out of my way. Pizza? God, I could go for pizza right now. You can unlock the weapon store for Kiryu that sells the, your unlocked weapons? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that's a street performer guy. Drew himself a good-sized audience, too. Nice to see. Hmm. What's he doing? Making smoke signals? I better get closer and see what's up. Yo, Tokikiji, you're pulling in a good crowd. Yes, that's been uh, that's been good at least. So, you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I uh, I need to use the restroom. Mama, why is the man talking to a statue? Shh, he's just a little different. It's rude to stare. Thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. Sorry, but you're the one talking to a statue. So why are you calling me over? about your uh, problems. There's a pizza place right over there. Why not make a beeline uh, for their crapper? No way, I can't do that. There's a, little, there's a little kid watching. If he saw a statue sudden spring to life, he might be traumatized for life. Guess that's true. I don't want to shatter that boy's dreams, but I need to go relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? Hey man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just sneak off when the little uh, tyke ain't watching? Sneak off when he's not looking? That's it. What? I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask this, but can you distract these people? Just long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place. Who, me? Yes. Naturally, I'll compensate you for your trouble. I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. Please, if I don't go soon, I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. What do I do? I'll help you. Fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect you to make good on this if I pull it off, though. Thank you, of course. How are they talking? Through echolocation. How do I get these folks' attention? Guess I can try raising my voice. Intimidate them with insults? Wail like a banshee? Shout, look, a UFO!
Well, that didn't work. What's the matter with that man? Shh, don't look at him. Look at this. See the statue? Well, this is about as mortifying as it gets. What now? Intimidate them with insults. I'll hit them. I'll hit them where it hurts so hard. They'll be too scared not to look. Here goes. Hey, you shit for brain clods. Yikes. Now that's a scary fella. Nothing wrong with that guy. Don't make eye contact. Hmm. That usually has a stronger effect. Look, a UFO. UFO sighting. Not the most creative approach, but... Whoa! What's that? Up in the sky! It's a UFO! Huh? Where? 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 A UFO? There. Now's your chance. Why is he moving slowly? What the heck? There ain't no UFO up there. Uh, forget it. Statue's the real deal. Am I imagining things? Wasn't that statue over this way a bit more? Well, at least he managed to scoot a little. What's to do next? Maybe this little performance would draw their interest. Ask a riddle. Do a dance. Sing a song. It's time to debut my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring my singing to you. <laughs> oh. You gotta be brave to break out singing a cappella in public. You got pipes, buddy. I think I know this song. <clears throat> Now's your chance. Haul your ass. A cappella is not that exciting, though. Back to the statue. <laughs> Fireman, thanks for subbing, dude. Huh? You idiot, you're facing the wrong way. Uh, Mama, the, the statue son is turned around. I wasn't imagining it. The statue is moving. Crap, this cover's blown. Now what? Hey, one-eyed willy, you're annoying as hell. Hmm? Quit your lame-ass singing. What's wrong with you, man? You think you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal, trust me on this one. I ain't singing because I want to. Bullshit. I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb, and I'm going to beat the shit out of you for it. Yo, Hunter, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the prime sub. Let's do this. You, me, and this shotgun. Kids, look around. I, I killed a man with a shotgun. I'm so sorry. Please let me go. Spineless blowhard. Wow, that was spectacular. What the? Wow, man, you rocked it, buddy. That was awesome, mister. You were like one of those heroes on TV. Whoa, I don't know how I did it, but I got everybody's attention on lockdown. Now, Tokuichi, escape. There, he made it to the pizza palace porcelain throne. What? The statue's gone. It is gone. How did that happen? Mama, where did statue son go? I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. So weird, but I guess we got a free show out of it. So fine by me. Oh no. I, I'm meeting someone, I have to run. We should be on our way too. Yeah, that was fun. There, guess that's the end of that. My savior, yo. Did you make it to the crapper in time? Yes. You were so good at distracting everyone, I made it before the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. Is that so? Glad to hear it. Gotta hand it to you, though. It ain't an easy thing, holding people's attention. That's the truth. People think it's easy to draw attention to yourself. But what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you've got it. Uh-huh. You street entertainers are something else. That's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes it all worthwhile. It's not much, but please, take this with my thanks. Did you wash your hands before you handed this to me? By the way, you've got a real talent for performing in public yourself, you know. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was the icing on the cake. It was so amazing, I couldn't, j I couldn't look away. It was so inspiring that I almost forgot to sneak off. But that brawl wasn't a performance. It was, it really was spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. 
You inspire me to keep working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you'll keep honing your performance chops too. Let's ke both keep bringing smiles to people's faces. Hey, I told you, I'm no entertainer. <laughs> Rel taken. Thanks for the sub, Prishta. Well, there goes an odd duck. Any ducks in chat? Give me a duck. But you gotta respect that. It ain't easy making people laugh or bringing them joy. Being an entertainer is tough in any other business. It is true. Being an entertainer is very difficult. How do you hold people's attention? As soon as somebody figures that out, you let me know because I'm still confused. Hello. I'd, I think you're a side quest. I'm a telephone card collector. You got any cards I can see? Oh, never mind. I used to collect them myself, but after I see a card for the first time, I kind of lose interest. All right. This is... Okay. How about this one? Five million yen. Another five million yen. Look at all my booba cards. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this really isn't a lot of money. But also, <laughs> I'm hoping you're going to give me something more than five million yen for one of these. Probably not. Nope, it's gonna be five million every time. Oh well. <laughs> ben Ben, thank you, appreciate that. Three, thanks for the sub. You don't show that. No, I'm good. Alright, well, let's head on let's head on back. Alright. I think we can go ahead and finish off the, uh... Oh, hey. What's up, dude? What's up? Bye-bye. Hey, look, another 5 million yen. Alright, we got another side quest right here. And then... Let's see if we got it. Oh, I... Another girl to recruit. I had a booba card. Booba. Perfect. All right. So, what do you want? If I can recruit her to come and work at our club, it looks like she, uh, she might do pretty well. I need as many girls as I can get. I should try and recruit her. Coat. Designer coat or scarf. Okay. One designer coat coming right up. Who sells that? The person right outside here. Right in here. All right, come on over. That's a silver at least. Looks can be deceiving. If they're wearing all gold, they may as well be bronze. A French scarf. You got it. Hello. Thank you. A silver hostess. Oh my god. Bronze knights are looking better. All right. Oh. <laughs> hey, Val, what's the matter? Why's a grown man bawling in public? I couldn't buy the heart necklace. Heart necklace? Yes. 
A heart necklace from Destiny's. It's trendy and in high demand. It's so popular, it actually sold out everywhere. Okay. So it's a popular necklace. So you can't buy it. Big deal. Doesn't sound like you gotta flood the Soten Bori about it. But I have to buy it. If I don't get one soon. Uh, uh. Cut that shit out, man. Get a hold of yourself. Why do you need it right now, anyway? Just wait for the next delivery. I uh, promised this girl I'm seeing that I would get her a heart necklace for her birthday. If I wait for the next delivery, I'll miss her birthday. I'll be breaking my promise. Sure. Okay. But this one's on you for making a promise you can't keep. Ain't nothing for it but to come clean with your gal with an apology. Oh. Like I could do that. What if she gets mad? If she gets mad that the store is out of stock. That's a red flag. Well, what if she dumps me? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Pull out as much hair as you want about it, but the fact remains it's sold out. Not much to be done, son. Listen, if she, if she dumps you over this, consider it a dodged bullet, okay? That's how you do it. Or I suppose you could get yourself a fake. That's oh. true. Wait. <gasps> a fake? That's it. That's the answer. Huh? If I can't get the real thing, I'll get a fake that looks just like it. I need to get a fake heart necklace and give that to her. But it's a fake, man. Ain't you gonna notice? I mean, a fake heart to go with this supposed fake love. It's pretty, uh, pretty on point. I don't think so. Destiny's heart necklace is so popular that it's almost impossible to find one in the wild. Only a jeweler could tell a real from a fake. That's so? But still, that'll mean pulling a fast one on your gal. I know that, but I don't want to break a promise to her. I don't want to see her sad, and I really don't want her to dump me. Well, if you think that's your answer, but how are you going to get a fake? You got any leads? No, not at all. I would have to find a forger who works with uh, jewelry, wouldn't I? If only... If only there was someone who's familiar with the criminal underworld. Someone who would be acquainted with forgers. Oh, sure. Like, you're gonna run into some suitably shady character like that on the street. You're right. Actually, you look a little shady. No, scratch that. You're totally shady. Eh? Please, could you use your shady connections to hook me up with a forger? Listen, you're kind of hurting my feelings here. Besides, there ain't no for forgers in my social circle. Try barking up another oh. tree. Oh, but you look so shady. You look like the sort of person who would know all kinds of criminals, but not just forgers. You're really disappointing me here, pal. And you're really rude. Mm. I'm sorry, but I have no one else to turn to. If you find anyone who could help, could you please tell me? I don't want to disappoint my girl, please. Well, I guess your intentions ain't bad, at least. Fine. Tell you what, if a miracle happens and I get a lead on a forger, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. That said, it ain't like you run into forgers on the street. Well, if you want shady, go to the shade. The alley, he uh, the alley ahead's a good place to look as any. Out of my way. Out of my way. Mr. Lebido. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't know how to get the last relationship with Mr. Lebido. Do I need to just watch more videos, and he'll just show up? Okay, you good to go. Now, now you talk forever on payphone for free. Great, thanks. See ya. Happy do business with you. Bye bye. What's that about? Some kind of deal went down. Probably best I don't get involved, though. Huh? Ah! My card go all over. I dumped a bunch of phone cards. Fine. Guess I should lend him a hand. Oh. Oh, no. No touch the merchandise. Huh? I'm doing you a favor picking up your cards. Ain't no call for that attitude, friend. Ah, thank you. But no look too closely. Why not? They're just phone cards, right? Or is there something different about them? No, 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 no. No looking. No look, please. What's with all these phone cards? They got a strip of tape over where the phone punches holes. 
I'm getting the picture now. They're bogus mm -hmm. cards, huh? Huh? Sorry. Not hearing. My hearing, not good. What? I said these phone cards are bogus, aren't yeah. they? Huh? Japanese, very hard to understand. Sorry, not get what you're saying. Huh? Seriously? The phone cards are bogus. Oh, 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 no. Sorry. 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 <sighs> Nailed it. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. It's all over. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all over for me. No. How about you just calm down? Oh, oh, no. I mean, yes. Oh, please. You don't tell anyone. If anyone find out, very bad trouble. Hmm? I know. We make deal. I pro forger. I make one fake thing for you. You tell nobody. Good deal for you. Appreciate the offer. But I can't think of any fakes I'd want. Hmm? There's a fella wanting a fake heart necklace for this gal. I can hook him up with this guy. Hey, I might have something for you. You got a minute? Of course. What kind of fake you want? So there you have it. I think it was called Destiny. Can you make a heart necklace for that fella? Piece of easy cake. I take care of it. No problem. Top quality forgery I make for you. Okay. You give me, you give young man this, my business card. You got Van's business card. Tell your friend come to my office. I tell workers so they look after him. My name's uh, Fansan. Nice to meet you. Name's Majima. I'm counting on you then. Okay. But you no forget, no talking about my cell phone card anywhere, please. Triad boss prefer, triad boss prefer dead forger to famous forger, you know? Is that right? Fortune stuff's a tough gig. Okay, your secret's safe with me. Okay, I go back to office now. <laughs> well, I'll be. I found a forger. I'll get this business card to that blubbering fool. He was out in the front of that fancy boutique store. I'll do that right after I come over here and see what this exclamation point is. That's the toilet where I wrote back to the graffiti. Should I check it out? Yes. All right, which one of these scribbles is... What do you like? There's one where she wrote, what do you like? And my reply was, I'm a sex-crazed perv. That's what uh, I wrote in reply. Hey, there's something under my reply. It's the same handwriting. I like that. When you see this message, can you come to the phone booth in Shofuku West? I can't wait to meet you. The lonely lady wants to meet. I'll have a red rose uh, in my lapel. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me up, Rena. So the lonely lady is named Rena. Can't believe I'm actually making a connection through bathroom graffiti. Gur four. Wait, way to go. I think. Clap, I think. Ah, right. uh, Glyph, thanks for seven. All right, is it actually going to be a girl or is it going to be a guy? What do you think? Oh man, 100,000 yen vending machine. Booba? Booba? Booba! Booba. What I get? Hey, that's really overpriced. Uh, we know the lonely lady's supposed to be waiting around here, wearing a red rose on her lapel. Hmm, not seeing her though. Uh oh. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. We got ourselves a sucker. Hmm? We got a problem, gents? You came here hoping to meet a lovely lady, didn't you? Sucks to be you. She doesn't exist. Wait a damn minute. 
We're the sexy lady you're looking for, my friend. What are you fools? Uh, has the pretty handwriting? Really? Are you thick or what? There was never a woman. She doesn't exist, you dumbass. Damn it all. All it takes is the scent of a woman to get dumb shits like you to come running. Their tongues. Their tongues out and their dicks popping out of the zipper. You should see the looks on their faces when we beat the shit out of them and take everything worth taking. Strangest thing, too. They never seem to go to the cops afterwards. Guess nobody wants to tell the fuzz. They let their dicks do the thinking. <laughs> Pretty clever, ain't it? Huh? Oh, it's clever, all right. You finally figure it out? Then get ready to lose those fancy clothes and all the cash you got on you. All right. Understandable. <laughs> uh, we screwed with the wrong guy. We're sorry. Please. We'll stop luring people here with our pretty handwriting. Please take this. Forgive us. <sighs> Serves me right, really. Can't believe I fell for the oldest trick in the book. It's a men's bathroom to begin with. Why would a woman be there sign uh, signing her name in graffiti? Rena, my ass. Wait, a bathroom? Rena? We were riding on a bulletin board in the train station under the name uh, Mayumi. Uh -huh. What? Well, screw it anyway. You fools better not ever get up to this kind of Tom fuckery again. Got it? Yes, sir. Never again. Yo, John, wait for me. <sighs> Serves you right for being so gullible, Goro. I ain't even gonna forget this for a long while. Wait. Wait. There she is. Goro! Rena! Guess the sex crave perv isn't coming after all. Probably for the best. No! If only he wasn't blind in his left eye. If only, man. Alright. What is this picture? I'm intimidated. Run. Uh, all right. What am I going to do? Still no closer to a solution, huh? Oh, no luck at all. I suppose you shouldn't. Uh, you couldn't get any leads with a forger either. Here, take this business card and go to the address on it. Huh? What is this? There's a forger there. Show him the car and tell him you know me and he ought to make you top quality fake of your heart <laughs> necklace. You're not pulling my leg, are you? I knew you were someone special the moment I saw you. Nah, I ain't nobody special. Just got lucky. Can I ask your name? Majima. Thank you very much, Majima. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of time. I'll go see him right away. You do that. Just remember, forgers work on the wrong side of the law. Mind your manners or you might get hurt. I will. Thank you again. Anson, the forager, seemed like a good sport, but that fella is just a normal guy. Who knows what could go wrong? Maybe I should check in on him when I got a minute. Oh. Uh. All right. Chat post rude duck. Oh, please help. What was that? Sounds like the lover boy is in trouble. Ah! Let me go. Please. Cannot do. You tell me real purse. You tell me real reason why you come here. Wrong answer. Finger go bye-bye. Please. Stop. I'm not lying. 
I really only want a necklace. I was given that card and told to come here. Cannot be true. This place top secret. Normal necklace buyer cannot find. But I'm telling you the truth. Help! Looks like things went sideways. Hey, he's done nothing wrong. Let him go, will you? What? Majima-san? Who are you? Are you the partner of this guy? This place top secret. You know secret. No, you know stay alive. Sorry, you have to die. Hold on. One of your guys told me about this office. No one here sell out. No traitor here. You dishonor us. You die now. Nope. Home run! Lamba! Halloween! Go! Tsukobi! Thank you, VG Reginald and Kensmir. Thank you all for subbing. How come so strong? If you'd give me a chance to explain myself. What's going on here? Boys, what happened? Ah, boss! What happened here? Explain, boss. These guys, they say someone tell them about office. They just come in here. These guys. Oh. Boss, no one tells secret office location. We don't tell anyone. Never. These guys lying. Um. Hey, old guy. Care to explain? Pansan forgot to tell boys you hear you coming. Oh, come on. Probably should have done that, you know? Probably should have been like, hey. So then, I give business card. Oh, that what happened? Very sorry, Majima-san. Nothing to forgive. Ah, very good. Everyone all friend, happy ending. Good, good, good. Says the guy who shit the bed in the first place. So, we make copy of Destiny Heart Necklace, that all? Yeah, can you do it? No problem. We copy weapons, harder things, necklace easy. No worry, we do a good job, top quality. Good news. Thank you so much. Okay. We make right away. No watch us work, though. You go outside a little, okay? All right. What happened to the cat shoes? Uh, I took them off. Okay. He's finished. Excellent quality. Well, well. This is damn good work. Wow exactly like the real thing. I'm sure my girlfriend will be delighted. Okay, here you go. Now promise to Majima-san is done. <laughs> yep, we're square. Ooh. What a huge relief. Thanks to everyone's help, I can fulfill my promise to my girlfriend. I made it just in time for her birthday. Good. Get going then. Yes, I better get moving. Thank you so much. Guess that ought to do it then. Still, that necklace, even a woman's not going to know it's a fake. No problem. I'm sure no one can tell it's not real. Secret safe forever. Okay, hope you're right. Ben says it's okay, but he blows smoke too. Guess I ought to see how this plays out. I'll be on my way too. Thanks. Oh no, no problem. Thanks to you. Okay, bye-bye, Majima-san. Can we wear them one more time? Sure. Oh, there's our lover boy. Is he really going to get away with passing a fake necklace to his gal? Happy birthday. Here's your present. Like I promised, it's a heart necklace from Destiny. Wow, really? I can't believe it. It's so adorable. It's crazy popular now, though. It must have been hard to get. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a real challenge to get. I have to admit, I was worried. Stores can't even keep it in stock, so I wasn't sure if you'd be able to get it. Well, you know, I'd spent a night standing in line, kind of. You spent a whole night in line? What did you do? You did all that for me? I d uh, didn't, but well, yeah, something like that. Really? I'm so happy. I'm tearing up now. Thank you. I love you very much. That's good. I'm glad it makes you so happy. Ha ha. How about that? Looks like you got away with the fake. Something wrong? Hmm. That's the face of a moral dilemma. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? 
I have to tell you what really happened. Whoa. Don't tell me he's gonna... That necklace. It's actually... It's actually... It's a fake. Pardon? It's fake? I'm sorry. Why? Why did you try to trick me? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. You gave me a fake for my birthday? I feel like an idiot for being so happy. Yep. Now it's all going to hell in a handbasket. This calls for the Majima touch. Excuse me, lady. Pardon? Majima son. What on earth possessed you to spill the beans, huh? Because when I saw how happy it made her, I couldn't help but feel this horrible guilt. Hey, in for a yen, in for a kilo. If you were going to get a guilt complex, you shouldn't have faked it to begin with. I know. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Okay. Lady, let me clue you in on this, though. That necklace is a fake and your boyfriend's a dingbat can't fault you for being upset but he wanted to see you happy that part is real huh he went through a lot to get that fake the kind of trouble you probably don't want to know about he ended up in a forger secret office with his life and his digits in danger yeah he's an idiot all right sure trying to slip you a fake's a dumb mistake but he went through all that just so he could see you smile that desire that part of it at least ain't nothing fake about it You really went through all that? Yeah, I'm sorry. You idiot. How could you be so stupid? What if something happened to you? What am I supposed to do then? Sorry. How does a guy who's missing fingers hold his girlfriend's hand? Uh, please, no more lies. Just be honest with me. Yes, I'm really, really sorry. Next time, when the real thing is in stock, we'll go buy one together. I don't want it, huh? I don't want another one. I have this one, but that one's just a fake. It's real enough for me, and that makes it unique. Listen to what she's saying. She's telling you the fake that her boyfriend struggled to get shines brighter than the real thing. She's a fine lady, you fool. You best be good to her. Yes, I will. Majima-san, thank you for everything you did for me. Please, I want you to have this. How many secret wallets am I going? That's like my fifth secret wallet. From now on, I'll always be honest with my girl. No more faking. Only what I really feel. Yeah, that's for the best. Yes, thank you so much. Shall we go? Yep. Alright. From the heart. Alright. Now let's go finish the cabaret club stuff. Be gone. There's two hostess candidates on that corner up top. Are there? How many hostesses am I even missing? One bronze, one silver, and two golds. Not sure where I get those. Hello. Designer purse. Okay. The two golds are probably from, uh... The two golds are probably from, like, side quests and stuff. Let's see if there's any other person here. Check the water side. We haven't really gone to the water area, so that'd probably be a good place to check. Let's do it. Oh. 
dog. Good dog. Oh, there's one right here. Hello. Hmm. Perfume. So, person perfume. Okay. Do, 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 do. Purse and perfume. Any other things? Boba! Nice. That's for illegal gambling. Oh no. Boba! Boba! So purse and perfume coming right up. Let's go get those two things. There's also a hostess in the disco minigame sub stories. Disco, wildly popular disco. Oh, okay, cool. Hey. Right. Hey. Yo, what's up, dude? God, the damage is ridiculous. Check the disc out real quick. Actually, let's buy the um, the golds are probably gonna come from the golds are probably gonna come from side quests. So I'm not gonna do a gold for Stone Street. So uh, she wanted perfume and what else? A purse. It'd be a handbag, wouldn't it? A French handbag. Alright. Alright. Uh King Kier Knight, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Lady Bump, thank you for subbing. Thanks for the prime. Alright, now let's go give that to them. How do you have so many shotguns? Very carefully. Join my club. Yay. More completion. <laughs> Yay. Ten thousand, ten thousand dollar dream. Top grade bait. Nice. What's our completion rate at? Uh, good question. 
So this disco apparently. Alright. Fulio, thanks for the 72 months. Appreciate that. Alright, let's do our first little look for booba cards. See if we got any here. This isn't the same Maharaja. Let's see if we got any booba cards. So apparently there's a hostess here. Alright. Do we need to just do a dance and then they'll show up? Probably. Alright, let's play a song. All right, Friday night. It's time. <laughs> oh, it's got a little eye patch on it. That's cute. I will say this mini game has the most finicky of QTEs. The game's supposed to have very tight timing. It's um, it's like slightly out of like the visuals are out of sync with the music. If you sit there and watch, leaving the party already. Come back soon, all right? Oh, well, maybe I get her later. Dance more. All right. You know what? I'll do one more dance. This one's my favorite out of the five. Is it proxy? Thanks for the prime.
God, I was off there. Don't you hate when you're in the rhythm but off beat? It's the worst. Doing the part already? Come back soon, all right? Get the dance three times to trigger the sub story. Ah, all right, let's dance again. Queen of passion. Time to show you my power, chat. You can just do the easies. Yes, but I've already suffered through the hards to where I now know how to do them, so... Might as well do the hards. Fuck that up. Nope. Wow, that was fucking terrible. Holy shit. It's so out of sync, it hurts. Where's the sub story y'all promised me? Leave and come back after you do three? All right. That's why I always do just easy. It's so it's so ridiculous. Chat's just trying to Chat's just trying to scam another two thousand yen out of me. Oh wait, nope, there she is. There you are. You talking to me? I had my eye on you for a while. You know your dance style is quite fascinating. Who's your mentor? Mentor? It's more of a self-taught style. Well then, you have natural born talent for dancing. You really think so? Yes. You have rough edges, but with, an, with a little polish, you have the potential to dazzle. A diamond in the rough. That's you. Never been called a diamond before. Just who are you, huh? You dance here, but you don't know who I am? Sorry, not a clue. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm... I so be. Is so be? I don't know how to say it. 
eyesore. I have a certain amount of notoriety in the local dance scene. Eyesore, huh? Can't say I've heard of that name before. I see. I guess I still have a ways to go. So anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, mistress of the dance. Do you know anything about dance battles? Nah, but what is it with battles these days? I miss being able to solve disputes with good old fashioned fists. I figured as much. You don't know who I am, and you don't know dance battles. You really don't know anything about the dance world. That's never caused me any problems. Well, that's okay. I'll teach you. In a dance battle, two dancers square off and dance at the same time to determine who's better. The dancer who pulls off the most elegant steps gets the crowd raving, uh, is the victor. Okay, I get the picture. Fun doesn't begin to describe it. So what are you looking to challenge? Uh, you're looking to challenge me in a dance battle? I'd love to do that. But until you get better, I'd only wipe the floor with you. I'd, I'd shatter your confidence. Are you serious with that? Look, even if I wanted to, this is Maharaja. It's hollowed ground for dancers. I doubt the others would stand by and let an unknown like you dance with me. What? Got some kind of hierarchy too? Oh my gosh, it's Miss Eyesore. The great Miss Eyesore. The great Miss Eyesore. Miss Eyesore, I'm honored to meet you. I'm Kengo. I'm a huge fan of yours. Is that so? How charming. Thank you. Miss Eyesore, I see you dance. Uh, seeing you dance was a revelation. Ever since that day, I've been coming here to work on my dancing. I want to keep improving so that one day I can earn the privilege of dancing with you, Miss Eyesore. Actually, I've noticed you on the dance floor, Kengo kun you got some pretty slick moves. Really? You're serious? I caught the eye of Miss Eyesore? This is a dream come true. How about that? You really are some kind of famous. Now you see, famous is the beginning to describe her. Uh, to the dancers here at Maharaja, she's, Maharaja, she's a goddess. Well, that's a bit much. Anyway, has the goddess spun the threads of fate into a dance battle against my lowly human presence? I don't know. What are you saying? Of course, nobody like you can dance with Miss Eyesore. Are you out of your mind? Only those chosen few get to dance with Miss Eyesore. If you insist, you'll have to go through me first. Who died and made you the gatekeeper? Well, that would be fun. Kengo Kun's a good dancer. I think you would match up well in a dance. This is your chance. You can make your presence known to the dancers of Maharaja. This is turning into a circus. What do I do? Take him on. Yo, Rikita, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. All right, let's do it. Well, we'll see who deserves a chance to dance. Always play on hard. Oh god. That was close. Got it. I won. Guess I win. I lost. I didn't think you'd be such an amazing dancer. Bravo. Honestly, it was my fault for doing a frenzy in front of a bunch of notes. You want to use your frenzy when it's like dead air, essentially. 
Miss Eyesore, I think this man has real potential. He does, doesn't he? Hey, man. We shared the same dance floor. We share a kinship. Could I get your name? Oh, I guess I didn't get your name either. Whoops. Never introduced myself. I'm Majima. Majima, huh? I don't know what dancer as good as you could escape my notice. Miss Eyesore, I'm going to spread the word about Majima-san to the other Maharaja dancers. They're going to know his name soon. All right. Hold your horses. I got enough notoriety right now. I just joined, uh, you just joined the ranks of the famous, though. I don't know about, uh, the rich. Maybe you'll get a chance to take me on soon. Oh, right. Uh, no name's not allowed the privilege of having a dance battle with you. After that display, I give you a yen for your thoughts. I'm afraid you're not quite ready. You would still have to beat the man second only to me. Who's the lucky fella? When you gain a little more experience and smooth out your rough spots, I'll introduce you to him. Will you now? All right, challenge accepted. This dancing thing's more fun than I gave it credit for. That's good. I'll look forward to seeing you again. All right. I'm going to leave and come back. Doop, doop, doop. All this for a gold hostess? All this for a gold hostess I'm not even going to use. Minus 2,000 yen. And another side quest. Oh, hi, Majima -kun. It's been a while. Well, if it isn't Miss Isor, the goddess of Maharaja. Do I detect sarcasm? You can just call me eyesore, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. What's up? Are you finally descending into the mortal plane for some dancing? Of course not. You're just not good enough for me. Not yet. Anyway, don't you remember what I said last time? Not really. Didn't I say I would introduce you to the male dancer who's second only to me? Provided you got better, of course. All right. You did say that. Well, I thought you might be ready now. So I brought that dancer with me. Come on over here. Come on, Majima-kun. Can't see you if you're hiding behind me. You have to show your face. Uh... That does not look comfortable to dance in. Majima-kun, this man is Maharaja's second in command. Huh. Come on, don't slouch. Chin up. You should introduce yourself. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Don't worry about him. He's just a little shy. Okay, got it. Oh, but his dance sense and technique are sheer genius. And that's no exaggeration. I can vouch for his talent. <laughs> so that means if I take down this old timer, then I get the glory of being the greatest dancer at Maharaja? The greatest dancer? I didn't know you were so ambitious. Hmm? Are you going to do something? You got to aim for the top. A real man never aims for second best. Aren't you something? Well, if you do manage to beat me, you'll be the greatest dancer here. There's no question about that. Good to hear. But for you to challenge me, you need to beat this man first. The dancers in Maharaja have been convinced of your talent. Yeah, seems that way. I'm well aware. You're saying you can beat me? Hmm? I won't know till I try. All I know is, is that I'm gaining confidence as a dancer. I see. Well, you saw much of Kun dancing. Did you like what you saw? Y yes. I would like to try a, d a dance battle. I think I think I, his talent is a little bit different from mine. I guess a genius really can recognize another genius. Must be instinct. Majima-san, would you like to battle? Sure. Let's do it now. I wonder who's going to come out on top. Not even I can say for sure. Stare. Yeah! How's everyone grooving tonight? I'm taking on Majima here in a dance battle. What? In the fresh hell? Hey, the old guy's in dance mode. I can't wait to see his moves again. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. His personality completely changes when he's about to dance. It's like he flips the switch or something. Uh, okay. They say geniuses can be a little odd, but man... 
Okay, Majima. Are you ready to get up, to get down? Let's get primal and dance like party animals. Uh, sure, I feel you, old timer. Let's do this. Silver Fist. Thanks for the prime sub, dude. All right, chat. Time to win this dance. Missed one note. That one note at the end. I lost by twenty. <laughs> What's the matter, Manjima? Is that all you've got in your bag of tricks? I guess you weren't ready to take me on after all. Again. Do it again. Lost a grandpa. Shut up. Would you like to battle again? Oh no. Let's go. Alright, chat, give me your watermelons. I need the extra power. More watermelons in chat. Give them to me. All right. better that time how'd the ai do so much worse what made him do so much worse <laughs> pity mode it wouldn't have mattered even if he scored the same i still beat it hey hey i'm the man now congratulations i never lost anyone but miss eyesore before Whoa, his personality snapped right back to low-key. Majima-san, you're an inspiring dancer. You've given me a lot to think about. I have to go. Thank you for dancing with me. <laughs> I had a blast dancing with you. 
We gotta hit the dance floor again, old guy. Now there's just one dancer left standing in my way. That dude with the eye patch is wicked. I can't believe he outdanced the old guy. Wait, if you beat the old guy, does that mean he's number two dancer here now? Your talent is finally in full bloom. You finally, uh, you finally earned the respect of Maharaja's dancers as one of the elite now. Gotta admit, there's some appeal in that. Then all that's left is our showdown. Just you and me. It looks that way. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been able to dance without holding back. All right, you ready for a showdown? No, you have to wait. Why is that? You saying I still don't measure up? No, that's not it. You've proven yourself more than capable, but, but what? If we were to suddenly begin our dance battle right now, it would cause an uproar. It would be chaos in here. You have to realize that with fame comes an ebb and flow. How about we have our showdown next time you visit? I'll get the word out and get Maharaja ready so there won't be pandemonium when we dance. And another side quest. I'll take it. Time to lose another 2,000 yen. Alright, fine. God. This is really gonna hurt my wallet. Oh, excited! I can't wait! Disco dancing goddess. Whoa, what's with the mob? You're here. Yeah. What's up with this massive crowd? Isn't it obvious? They're our audience. They're here to watch our showdown. That's a good dance. Confidence is swelling. Now take your stance. You've earned a melon. Chad, I'm going to need all of your melons. I told you, didn't I? If we just started dancing, it would have been chaos. An event like this needs to be announced in advance. Now we can expect to be a, uh, there to be a bit more order, don't you think? Yeah, that's true enough. Man, I can't believe this many people are gathered just to see us throw down. <laughs> you must not realize how big a star you are among Maharaja's dancers. They look up to you. Of course, right now, you're playing second fiddle to me. Give me a few minutes. I'll turn that ranking right on its head. I wouldn't be so sure. Still, when we first met, you didn't know the first thing about dance battles. Now you're trying to knock me off the throne. Even though I knew this could happen, I'm still a little shocked the day has come. <laughs> well, I'd say we've waxed enough uh, nostalgia. This crowd showed up today to see a dance battle, right? Yes, we're dancers. We sell things on the dance floor, not with words. Okay, Majima, are you ready? Let's dance! Uh. Mm-hmm. One one eyed dancer go against a legendary Miss Eyesore. I have my own original dance style. I use a fan in my steps to add a touch of elegance. Do you now? Look forward to seeing that. Okay. Let's see you surpass me.
Oh my god, I hate... I hate the visuals so much. Oh no, I've lost. Well, that sucked. No! Boo! You come at the queen, you best not miss. I missed pretty hard. Nope. No, I didn't want to do normal. Eh, normal it is. Oh, well. No. Not a normie. Nope. That's a bad dance. Confidence is chilling. Now on your knees. You've lost a melon. That doesn't rhyme. You're trying to you're trying to rhyme chillin' and melon. I worry about you sometimes, chat. It suits your dancing? Oh fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Man, as soon as I saw that wave of fucking bad, I was like, yep. All right. Sure you pee pee. There, now I'm ready. I must show you pee pee before every dance. Why is she so far behind? Whatever. We take those. AI throwing. Oh, <laughs> 
Hell yeah! Yeah, I'm the champ! Can't believe we got to witness that happen. He actually beat Miss Eyesore. We have a new number one. Too good. I won't get a wink of sleep tonight. Yeah. That was some performance. You outshined me in every way. I've never had a dance battle this... This fiery. Well, you don't seem all that upset if I'm being honest. I suppose that's because I'm not all that surprised. I half expected this from the moment I first saw you dance. Yo, Lycan, thanks for gifting a sub. Appreciate that. And Palm, thanks for the prime. Having said that, uh, I must say, you've truly blossomed into an incredible dancer since then. Well, I owe you a big time for that. Would never have found out about this dance battle if it weren't uh, for you. Who knew what I was missing out on the excitement? Well then, I suppose it's my own fault. If, uh, if I didn't tell you about this, I could have kept my status as number one dancer. On the other hand, you made me realize how much fun it can be to dance your best. It's all good. If you say so. All oh, right, there's one thing I have to ask you. Yeah? Shoot. Do you like dancing? Can't get much simpler than that. Yes. Of course I like dancing. A workout's this fun. Uh, this fun's hard to come by. That's good. You're going to become a spiritual icon to Maharaja's dancers. I wouldn't be... It wouldn't be right if you didn't like to dance. Yeah. That'd be a crying shame. Well, you're now the top dancer at Maharaja Sotenbori. You should have this. This fan you were using? So much fluff and feathers on this thing. Yes, that's right. It's proof of your victory. Who knows? If you work, uh, if you work this fan into your routine, you may discover some dancing you didn't know you were capable of. Hmm, interesting. And we're on the cusp of a trend here. Dancing with fans is really gonna take off, I bet. You really think so? You doubt me? Wasn't I spot on? I predicted you'd become the greatest dancer we know. It wouldn't be so quick to dismiss my intuition. Can't argue with that. Besides, now you're a dancer everyone looks up to. If you use that fan in your routines, maybe others will emulate your style. Just humor me, okay? Give it a shot. Can't see any self-respecting soul waving around this goofy looking fan. Majmakun, the future Maharaja. No, the whole dance scene is in your hands. Take care, champ. Anyway, I think my first request as the new number one dancer is another dance to celebrate. Hit it. And that was the last time I ever danced. All right. A million yen. Ball buster. Nice. I'll use that on chat later. Million yen. Oh, my God. Good to see you. Hey, you're Miss Eyesore, the goddess of Maharaja in the flesh. How's it going? Are you still dancing? Well, you know, here and there. That's no good. Then why on earth did I entrust Maharaja? Why did I entrust the future of dance to you? Well, it's easier said than done. I got to man manage a cabaret club and do other things, so I can't always be dancing. Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. Fine, I guess I'll help you then, huh? You mean at the cabaret? Sure. If I worked there, the sales at your club would go way up. 
I figure that'll make life easier and give you more time to dance at Maharaja. Hmm, this job ain't exactly a cakewalk, but if we got a name like you at the club, I bet we get your fans to give us a real sales boost. For sure. Alright. Well. I'm now missing one gold... I'm missing one gold. Where do I get this one gold at? By the way, you need to watch 15 videos for reputation with Mr. Libido. I have to watch more videos? All right. Well. Gotta do it then. Haven't seen you yet. <sighs> AI. Oh, uh, yeah, I did Radiant. Are we watching porn again? No, I'm just 100%ing the game. I need to improve my relationship with Mr. Libido. This is normal, Chad. smile <laughs> all right well gotta watch another video I assume it needs to be 15 unique videos who have I not seen I don't think I've seen you two Yeah, I haven't seen you two. It should tell you which ones you've seen and which ones you haven't. I have not seen pink water. Gamer girl, gamer girl water exists. My girlfriend walked in on the last video and I couldn't explain. All right. Put the headset, give the headset to your girlfriend. I'll explain it. All right. So <clears throat> here's what's happening. I'm watching all these videos. So that way I can increase my reputation with a sex crazed pervert that walks around Sotenbori. I need to watch 15 unique videos. Please understand that this is part of 100%. <laughs> Thank you. 
ありがとうございましたチャー。Thank you. Should be 15. <laughs> Or do we need to do one more? We need to do one more, but the question is have I even. Have we even unlocked? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, which one have I not seen? I don't think we've seen Rena. We've seen Lori. I don't think we've seen Kyoko. Don't think we've seen Kyoko. We have not seen this one. Oba! Booba, respectfully, chat. Girlfriend update. She gets it and thanks you and thanks for the update. No problem. It's what I'm here for. <laughs> really? Still haven't still no Mr. Libido, huh? Alright, which one have I not seen? I don't think we've seen Miri and I don't think we've seen Rena, so Rena it is. Baru, my boss just walked in on me watching this on break. How do I explain this to him? Well, it's very simple. Tell him to look at Twitch chat, and then all of Twitch chat will type Booba. And that's really the only explanation that you need. Tell him to join in! I mean, you could just be honest with your boss. Be like, I'm watching some 30 year old guy play video games on the internet, and he's 100%ing this game. Which means that he has to watch these videos.
Yo, tell him to join me. Twitch.tv forward slash Admiral Baru. Watch 15 different video clips. Nice. <laughs> Plus one CP. Haven't seen that Mr. Libido guy around lately. B brother. Hmm? Ah, long time no see. What's the matter? Stomach pains? I can't. I can't get it up. Need a hand? N no. I can get up just fine. I can't get it up. You? Really? Since I last saw you, I've been cutting back on the parlors and clubs and stuff. And before I knew it, my mojo was just gone. Well, that's what's that's what's kept you going. Ain't no shock your strength failing you when you go out uh, when you go without your three meals a day. Yeah, I shouldn't have held back. I need to go see some girls. You ain't going nowhere like that. Head to the hospital and see a doctor instead. Please, brother. Go to the drugstore and get me some of the good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, it's an energy supplement called the incomparable Habu drink. One of those should get me back to normal. An energy drink. You were talk you were taking that stuff all along? That explains a lot, actually. You ain't planning on popping yourself up with one of those and going off to a parlor, are you? Push it too far, and you're not getting up. And not getting up will be the least of your worries. It could even kill you. But some things are worth putting it all on the line for. That's I'll be fine. Please. Bring me the drink. Alright. No use trying to convince you when your mind's made up. If you know you want it, I'll help. Thanks, brother. Daikoko Drugstore in Sotenbori Street is closest here. Better get him that energy drink quick. Boba! 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 Nice. New video. Um Is it not here? Got to go to the drugstore? Drugstore it is. All right. Yeah, let's start with this. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. How many Mr. Shakedowns are there? Uh, there's two different Mr. Shakedowns for both Kiryu and Majima, but also they have the same. They have the same move set, so doesn't really matter. And now that I have these shotguns, it, it really doesn't matter. I'm a real thanks for subbing, dude. Appreciate that. 
Is that a nerf shotgun? It's an electric shotgun. So where do I get the last gold hostess, by the way? There's one more gold hostess that we can get. I'm not sure why I'm here, but I'm going to have some ramen. Okay. Phone booth, bottom of the map. All the way over there? Okay. Phone booth near the video store. Uncomfortable hubba drink? We do actually? What, really? I have to warn you, it's very strong. That's why we keep it in the back. Besides, there's only one customer who buys it. I think I know. But you'd like to buy it too? Wonderful. Must be really young. Be careful. Like I said, it's pretty strong. Is this better than the is this better than a stamina and royale? Asking for a friend. Drink them all. All right. In order to fully appreciate Toshiro's version of Yakuza Zero's deep and intricate lore, it is imperative that you watch all 69 videos. Striving for anything less would be doing a disservice to this finely crafted video game that stands above all others. I agree. All good. Yep. All right, let's go repair my shotguns. I've got seven billion yen now. Nice. Imagine if you hadn't healed that 10%. Yeah, you all... So, it does not matter how much HP you're missing. If you're missing even a fraction of your health, you want to heal it against him because his attack more than likely can one-shot you anyway. There's a way to cheese Mr. Shakedown to get even more money. 
pretty sure I would just die to him, let him take the money, then wait 20 minutes, and it'll probably turn into even more. But also, I don't care. Because now, it's time. We must spend even more money. You don't even use any of these moves. That's what you think. No, actually, you're pretty, pretty accurate. Bought all that one. All right, I have a f I've bought every available perk that I can right now. Um. All right. Understandable. Let's head back down. Out of my way. Oh my god, a thousand yen vending machine. It could be anything. My dream could be just a hundred thousand yen away. Toughness infinity. Delicious. Huh? Is that a phone ringing? Looks like that's that payphone. Mystery caller. Mushy mushy. This phone's really bugging me. Might as well answer it. Yeah? You answered it last. This guy sounds awful chirpy. This is a public phone. Sure you got the right number? Yes. It's you I wanted to speak with. Who the hell are you? And what do you want with me? Who I am doesn't matter. I don't know who you are either. The hell? You just said you wanted to talk to me. It didn't have to be you. Anyone who picked up the phone would have been fine. But in the end, you're the one who answered. That's fate. And I tell you, no doubt about that. Listen, man, they have telephone clubs for this kind of thing. I ain't in the mood uh, to get sweet talked here. Are you rejecting me already? At least hear me out first. No funny business or I'm hanging the hell up. I want I want you to play a game with me. This sounds like funny business. The rules are simple. Just bring me the item I ask for. What do you say? First thing I'm gonna say is what's in it for me. Page 413 of the phone book. Huh? The phone book. Under the phone. Open it up. You got 100,000 yen. Oh my god, I could buy another dream! Whoa. If you win the game, I'll pay you an even bigger reward. How about it? Still think there's nothing in it for you? Are you in the habit of leaving that much cash in a phone book anybody can thumb through? You're a real nutter. I like that. I'll play your game. Really? Great. I appreciate it. That saves me the trouble of detonating the bomb I planted in that phone book, in case you turned me down. The hell? Where? I had time on my hands, so I installed a bomb in the phone's handset. Uh, one press of this button, and kaboom. You gotta be bluffing. Can you say that with certainty? It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I don't... I don't need to trigger it anymore. 
Well, what is it you want me to get for you for this game? Hmm. For starters, how about you bring me a nine millimeter automatic pistol? A goddamn gun! What the hell are you gonna do with that? Oh, I wouldn't concern yourself with what I need it for. I'm only interested in seeing if you can procure one. I ain't a fan of getting put to the test, but I can score that for you. No problem. Have the cash ready. It will be. Once you have a 9mm automatic pistol, bring it back to the payphone. You want an electric shotgun instead? Well, Mr. Libido's gonna have to wait a second here. Oh, goodbye, shotgun. Chat saying that you're going to need a Chinese broadsword as well. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Anything else I need, just go ahead and tell me. I don't consider that really a spoiler. So much as... 9mm automatic pistol. What else am I going to need? I need a Chinese broadsword. How do I get that? Someone's also saying I'm going to need a Sakura Storm. So... Uh. Alright, equipment search. Uh, what's it gonna be under? Sword? Long sword? There's a Yagyu great sword. Is that what I'm looking for? East Asia? No. Oh, there we go. Chinese broadsword. Perfect. Come back instantly, okay? Cool. And a torm tourmaline? What is a tourmaline? Like, what would that fall under? South American jungle for a tourmaline. All right. Oh, I need to cr I need to craft it, not buy it. I'm gonna need a super spicy knife and two other things in order to make this. What do I need to make that? Tourmaline bracelet. Is that what I'm looking for? All right. 
I... I got a tourmaline bracelet. It's a guaranteed find? Oh, I didn't look at that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. Got a tourmaline. All right. Now I need to buy... I need to buy a super spicy knife. And then I'm going to need to craft. Uh, so I got the Indian cotton cloth. I also need question mark. What else do I need? White metal powder. All right. Equipment search. We're looking for white metal powder. White metal powder. Right. Uh, it's Eastern Asia. there. There we go. White metal powder. Alright. Oh, didn't get it. Search Japan Local Dojo Alright All right, There's white metal powder Now the question is Is that enough to actually build it Or do I need more is nine white metal powder enough? Let's go to craft. Nope. I need one more. Yeah, if you spend 20 million yen, they come back instantly. I don't know how they're getting... I don't know how they're doing it so fast, but I'm not going to ask questions. There we go. Okay.
Inventory is full. That should be everything. What's that little beeping? Uh, the beeping is to let me know that they finished an equipment search. There. Uh, let's come over here. Poor Mr. Libido. Travel by tank. Oh, I'm gonna take a whole bunch of taxis at some point. All right, Mr. Libido's been waiting. Here. Ugh. Hey, you okay? I bought you some stuff. Oh, you're a lifesaver, brother. Hurry up and drink it. You handed over the uncomfortable Habu drink. Die. I'm back. My energy's at 120%. Well, I'll be damned. Guess it really works, huh? Thanks. You saved me. I still don't quite feel myself yet. What? Like I said, I got this way because I wasn't vigilant. The beast is untamed. And I gotta... Sh it's gotta be shown who's boss. If I don't break the drought, it'll only be a matter of time before I wilt again. I've gotta pop it off. I get being raring to go and all, but you gotta know when to listen to your body. Maybe take... Maybe a little break is in order. Who are you to talk? Just how many videos have you watched in those booths since you got hooked? Yeah, guilty as charged. Still, I get the feeling I've checked off this whole city. I pretty much know every working girl in Sotenbori. There's plenty of guys who'd love to have your problem. You've got your favorite girls, right? Just go see them. I plan to, of course. Just thinking about it, it's making me firm up. Ah. Oh, come on. Just get out of here. Go polish your pole somewhere else. Roger that. Thanks so much, brother. You should give that drink a try, too. It'll change your love life. He's a perv for sure, but he knows what he wants, and he's willing to lay it all on the line to get it. In some weird way, he's his own kind of manly. Maybe working with ladies 24-7 has gotten me to the point to where I don't even feel the urge. I gotta start being more honest with myself about my desires. What do you know? I actually learned something from the guy. Cool. Fine. He can have the damn 9mm automatic. There it is. Yeah, we maxed out friendship with Mr. Libido. It's been a while. I brought the 9mm automatic, just like you asked. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. That looks like a real 9mm automatic. You got eyes on me from someplace? Well, who can say, really? Anyway, your turn to follow through. If there's no reward, I can take this right back to where I got it. I was about to tell you, don't be impatient. Page 315 of the phone booth. 200,000! Oh my god! Let's just ignore the fact that I spent 200 million making these items. <clears throat> you used the phone book for the reward too, huh? Ain't about time you showed your face? I might meet with you in person if you see the game through to the end. The end? There's more? Correct. Please, play a little longer. Oh. I didn't ask your name. Will you tell me? Majima. Well then, Majima. Your next target is a Chinese broadsword. Too tricky? I could make it simpler. All I gotta do is bring back a Chinese broadsword, huh? Done. I ain't a cob of corn, so don't bother buttering me up. Do I get the privilege of hearing your name? Me? Hmm. You can call me Simon. Simon? Fake a name as ever I've ever heard. You're a real piece of work. All two Simons in chat are now offended. Ah. Well, once you have the Chinese broadsword, bring it to the pay booth again. 
Ooh, Simon the Mystery Man. Mystery Caller. Yeah, I... Listen, you never name your kid Simon. Never do that. Never have Simon as your name. You're just gonna get bullied. Is it Simon Says? Yes. Good to hear from you. Any Simons in chat? It's probably like one. It's probably like one Simon. Ah, uh, one second chat. I need to check a message. Eh. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Cool. Resume. Got the Chinese broadsword he asked for. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Ah. I see you found a genuine blade. Here, grab your reward. 300,000 yen! Oh my god! What's up next? Don't you want to savor your success a little first? Why? Do you gotta get off pulling my strings? Not my style. Suit yourself. How about you find a tourmaline next? You can do that. Tourmaline, piece of cake. I'll be back before your instant ramen's ready. Nice. And over the tourmaline. Been a while. I brought the tourmaline like you asked. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth. Ah, you dropped the tourmaline. Ah, thank you. Go to this page. Get your reward. Add a tiny amount of money back into your pocket. A sense of accomplishment or anything? I know this game isn't ain't over yet. Get on with it. Well, that may be so, but I wish you would enjoy yourself a bit more. How about you find me a Sakura Storm next? A katana now. You got a fetish for deadly weapons? If that's all you want. I just bring it back here? Yeah. Get the Sakura Storm. Good luck. You'll need it. Do, 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 do. Hand over the Sakura Storm. Hello there. Good timing. What are you on about? I got your Sakura Storm. Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Here. All right, now go to the page this. Get your reward. Wow, it's a tiny amount of money. Again. What's up next? Well, next... Wait, before that, allow me to apologize. Apologize for what? Well, you see, at first, I didn't expect you to make it this far into my little game. I underestimated you, Majima. You're not the typical puffed-up blowhard I took you for. Forgive me. Not sure why you felt like you had to tell me that, but no harm done, I guess. Everyone makes mistakes. That's very big of you, Majima-san. You are a man of caliber, a shining example for all of Japan. Now you're just being facetious. I have a favor to ask of you. You bring me, uh, you being the man of such strong moral fiber that you are, a favor, not a game this time? Good question, yes. Let's end our game by seeing whether or not you can carry out my favor. It ends here, huh? So if I do this, I win? Yes, of course. I trust you will not disappoint. What's the favor? Well, I'm actually about to be killed, you see. I need you to save my life. What? You got someone after you? How'd you end up in that kind of mess? I was dealing with several parties regarding the items you gathered. 
Unfortunately, one of them has betrayed me. They lured me into a trap, and they seem to have every intention of doing, uh, doing away with me. What are you jabbing her about then? Where are you calling from? Sotenbori footpath on the south side. What do you say? Will you come and save me? This is a pretty serious game you're playing, you whack job. You really gonna gamble your life on getting me to come? Indeed. I ain't a fan of how you roll, but I'm ready to put this game away for good. And I want to see what you look like before your obnoxious ass bites the dust. I knew I could count on you. I'll be on the south side of Sotenbori footpath. If you don't hurry, it's curtains for me, so don't dawdle. Don't dawdle. Instead, we will waddle. Waddle, chat. Waddle away. Where? Where is it at? Oh, it's the Sotenbori footpath. Poor guy. Hope someone helps him. ACD arrow. He's about to die, so we cannot dawdle, but we are slow and have to waddle. Very good, Chet. Very good. Keep waddling. Waddle until I tell you to stop. Waddle until we find this man. Okay, I found this man. Stop waddling. Are those the guys who betrayed Simon? One of them could be Simon. Hey, what the hell are you looking at? We're trying to uh, do business here. Get lost. Business, huh? Guess these clowns are connected to Simon after all. I ain't going nowhere. I'm looking for an associate around here. You got a death wish? You screw with us, you get screwed. I won't ask again. Get out of my sight. I've been screwing with tools like you my whole life. Is one of you Simon? Or know who he is? I came to help him out. Simon? How do you know that traitor? Say what? He said you guys betrayed him. Shit. I don't know how you found us, but anyone working with Simon needs to die. Huh? I got no idea what the hell's going on. But if you're coming at me, let's do this. Kill him. Bust out the shotgun. Got him. That motherfucking Simon's still up to his old tricks, huh? Damn it. He's the guy you want dead, right? Tell me where he is. <laughs> Sounds like Simon's got you fooled, too. You're just a pawn taking orders, aren't you? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, thank you for that, Bowser. Send him to me on Discord. I'll check him out. Congress, thanks for the sub as well. He's out cold. Doesn't look like Simon's here. So I'm getting played, huh? I gotta get to the bottom of this. Maybe I'll find out more back at Simon's payphone. And we're going through here. All right. Break it up. Break it up. Enter the phone booth. Wonder what he's been up to. A call from Simon. Yeah. Is that you, Majima? What's going on? I went to help you, but you pulled a disappearance act on me. Sorry about that. It was all a lie, you see. You saying you set me up? Then who were those guys? I apologize for resorting to such trickery. I really do. But you did a terrific job. Everything ended up exactly how I would have hoped. I think you owe me an explanation. The men you defeated were former colleagues of mine from an organization I once belonged to. Former colleagues? Yes. I left that organization long ago. I couldn't stand the way they did things. The deal they were about to carry out... If that deal went ahead, all of Sotenbori would be thrown into chaos. But thanks to your little rampage, the deal fell through. I really can't thank you enough. 
What kind of deal could cause that much? Nah, you know what? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. But I gotta say, I'm none too I'm none too happy about getting jerked around like a dog toy. <laughs> don't be bitter now. After all, the two of us served Sotenbori together, didn't we? My face is known in those circles, so there wasn't much I could do openly. Thank heavens I had you act as my proxy. You were you were a champ. So that gauntlet I ran for you was to see if I'd be of any use to you? That's right. You see? You see right through me, Majima. What a dick. Don't brood. You finished the game. It's time for congratulations and fanfare. I went through a little extra trouble for your final reward. I hope you like it. What the hell does extra trouble mean? You'll find out soon enough. Well then, I guess this is goodbye. Wait, now just a damn minute. I got more to rant about here. Bastard. He hung up. What's this reward then? Don't see any money in the pain booth this time. Hmm. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting there, miss. Are you Majima-san? Huh? Yeah, but how do you know me? Simon-sama instructed me to come here to meet you. Simon did? Then you better tell me who you are. Please, Majima-san, let me work at your club. My club? You mean sunshine? Well, hang on just a minute. I don't know if... I'll do whatever you tell me. I don't want to get killed. Please, let me work there. I'm too young to die. Killed. All right. Well, I, I don't know what the circumstances are, but if it's that serious, you're hired. Sob. What the hell is up with that Simon dude? Unknown. Well, now I just have some random lady working at my cabaret club. Don't know her name. Don't know how she got here. Don't know her problem, but... If I fire her, she dies. No pressure. Alright, you gotta outbid grandma or you're gonna be fired. It's only fair. I now have all of the gold, silver, and bronze hostesses. And the two platinums come from doing the story. So. Let's do it. Oh, we're doing a bronze night, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're doing a bronze night. Hell, yeah. Except... So, is Saki just... is She's always happy and will always work? I think that's how it is, which means we need to do a makeover for you. All right, time for a silver night. Yeah, Rhonda, you're in. All right, perfect. All right, time for another clown fiesta.
Okay. Beautiful. Designer watch too. Rainbow nails. Onyx. Chain. God, I wish I could put those on. You know what? I'm going to. Let's find a way. Saki's accessory. Don't tell me I have to buy everything for each girl. There we go. Perfect. Couldn't make this an easier process, huh? Active Heart's the one we want to end on. I'm doing this for one girl, and then after that... And then after that, I'll do the rest off stream. We're on rescue. doesn't take that long just do it yeah what would that be under business sub stories accessory collection so you need to buy 30 accessories oh my god and there's three for every girl And we're going to need 4,000 fans in the Mercury area. Whew, that's going to take a bit. All right. Well, prepare to open. Chat, it's time for, mo for more completion. Makeover time. All right, Yuki, it's time to buy everything. Let's do it. All right. Okay.
<laughs> we only need to get to accessory collection, what, three? Again, accessories, hair accessory. You may not like it, but this is what 100%ing a game looks like. I like how this is the only one that didn't turn into a clown show. This is going to become Chet's new favorite song. Change AI, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, you're right. This didn't take that long. Best to not bitch about it and just do it. Get the get the CP. Doesn't take that long. Compelling gameplay. Doesn't take that long. Hey, we're done. Perfect. y'all want to talk to chica or saki let's keep going with chica we're we're, we're on a well let's do saki go talk to velma <laughs> or the wendy's girl yeah it's more like <laughs>
What have I created? Remember, you gotta treat me like a regular customer. It might be difficult, but I'll manage. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Sleeping. Yes. <laughs> you may not like it, chat, but this is what peak performance looks like. Ladies, take notes. This is how you get double circles in all of your statistics. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. It's not true. It is true, though. This is peak female performance right here. At least according to this game. That's pretty health conscious of you. Did you play sports as a kid or something? Nailed it. Guess there's a reason they called you Busy B Saki at Club Jupiter, isn't there? There's more than one way to get it? Tell you what, for those that have Yakuza 0, you find me the exact combination of things that makes it so she still has three circles but doesn't look like an absolute clown, and I'll change it. But I don't care enough. I got the three circles. <laughs> Sometimes they say they're kind of masculine activities, though. No, those, no, those are cool. Who cares? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with sporty hobbies. I think they're cool. We can save AI Chan. You could save AI Chan from the terrible fate that I have given her. I bought it to show you. Well, it's going to be a few hours for you to uh, get to this point in the game, but I look forward to you doing that. You'll have to give me a preview of what this is going to look like on Discord, so that way I can ac accurately judge whether or not it's worth my time. I have all girls three circle and pretty. I'm molding right now. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. My stream is basically just molding simulator. Because <laughs> I, whenever I play video games, I always go for peak efficiency, regardless of anything else. It's always peak efficiency. And that's how we get this. <laughs> this is why Roos Madge. See? Roos Madge. I didn't even have to farm it this time. Y'all just know that's the go to emote. Anytime you're mad at my decisions, Roos Madge. Don't like what the streamer's doing? Smadge. Don't like this absolute beauty in front of you? Smadge. We now have 11,000 smadges. Oh my god. I should change them to smadging pandas. No. But it is, it is smadging pandas. <laughs> First we are smad, but then it just becomes despair. Suffering. True. Speaking of which, I want to update Rue Suffer. I feel like it's not really drawing it out enough. I feel like Suffer could definitely be done better. 
I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and change it up. <clears throat> Needs more bleakness. Can't even <laughs> suffer in peace. No. He will be torn apart and remade. Because, I mean, it, I mean it, it becomes a cycle, right? You start with some edge. You become despair. And then finally, you blank. You feel nothing by the end of it. Cooking sounds uh, pretty domestic. Maybe that'd be a subject to why you wouldn't feel about bringing... Feeling bad about bringing that up? What's the matter? Nothing scores more points than being a good cook. What's your specialty? What's... What is that? Fried chicken? Dude, that's fucking great! What the fuck? Why would anyone why would anyone feel bad about being good at fried chicken? Because I can tell you, fried chicken is something you can fuck up. <laughs> Very badly. Uh a large dog, thank you for the brand new prime sub. Appreciate that. I love it. Huh? Speaking from experience, yes. Very much so. Chicken's good and fried chicken's better. Everyone laughs. No way. There's a technique to frying up chicken, right? The flavor, the temperature of the oil. Panda Man's the guy who fucked up broccoli. Okay. See. Burning broccoli has its own story into it. Okay. It wasn't like I just put broccoli and burned it. Okay. You're only telling half of it. How do you fuck that up? How do you burn broccoli? All right. I'll tell you. Well. I'm cooking a meal on a stove. Right? I'm cooking a meal on a stove. It's a flat surface. It's one of those like flat surfaces heats up. I finish with what I'm doing. I also would like broccoli to go with my meal. So I take a bag and I put it in a microwave. Set that off because I'm lazy when it comes to cooking. That heats up, Chef Mike does its thing. And then as I pull it out, my brain forgets, hey, there's going to be a lot of hot steam coming out of this bag. I probably should not grab it with my hands. So anyway, I grab it with my hands and obviously hot steam now comes out of the bag. It hurts. I drop the bag. Below the microwave is the previously used hot stove that was, you know, turned on. So now that drops. I don't notice that it that it lands there right away. And then we have melting plastic and burnt broccoli on the stove. Just, hmm. It's delicious. It's great. <laughs> Why was the stove still on? Because it's because heat doesn't go away. <laughs> it doesn't just disappear. <laughs> when a stove gets hot, it stays hot for a little bit. And there's only like a 30 minute win or 30 second window between me turning off the stove and pulling out the bag of broccoli. So anyway, this is why I don't cook anymore. <laughs> But anybody could have made that mistake. Anybody. Sounds like a skill issue. It is. <laughs> but then again, I clearly didn't learn from that because when I did my sponsored stream for 
Hello Fresh. I then grabbed a hot pan with my hand that was just in the 450 degree oven. That was fun. <laughs> my brain very much forgot. <laughs> so just grabbing hot shit and burning myself, I still have not quite learned that lesson. But to be fair, I was streaming. My attention was divided. How did the how did you survive the deli to become a streamer? Well, that's simple. Somebody else cut their hand on the slicer before me, and I learned don't do that. <laughs> that's how. Anything wrong with that? Heck, bring some of that fried chicken goodness next time you make it. <laughs> So, how do I get to know Ooh, a little bit better? Anything. Chat, ask a singular question. Go. You got any talents? Why? <laughs> I like just the question mark. That one's my favorite. Besides running, I guess I can handle children? Handling kids? You'd make a good mom. That's a good quality to have. You'll make a great mom someday. Have I considered getting mitts for wearing in the kitchen? No, because I'm going to get them and then I'm going to forget they're there. Just like the other three oven mitts that I have. <laughs> know how you feel. I can't even imagine having a family. I suppose we got to find a good partner first. Hey, and I'm only 24, Saki-chan. To be fair, Majima does not look like he's 24. You don't gotta act that surprised. Majima's 24? Yes, Majima's 24 and Kiryu's like, what, 21? <laughs> they don't really age throughout the story. <laughs> so let's flip the script. How about your weakness? Insects. Damn. With authority. What kind of bugs gives you the shivers? Chad, are you afraid of bugs? What kind of insects? All of them. I can't even stand looking at them. Spiders. Only deadly ones. Flying roaches. I hate bees. Or rather, not bees. Bees are fine. Bees are actually perfectly fine. Wasps. Those are the ones that fucking suck. God. We had an issue with wasps before it got really cold here. They're fucking everywhere. <laughs> and they just attack. They just go at you. I see that you are existing near me. I must sting you. You hate him that much, huh? Speaking of the bumblebee, it reminds me of when I was uh, moving out before I came here. There was a bumblebee 
Like there was an elevator that we had to go through and right outside the elevator is like this very tiny, like, I guess, small walkthrough. And then there's a door, I guess to, you know, only people who are at the apartment know the code so they can get in. So the entire time that we're moving stuff from our second and third floor apartment, there's just this bumblebee in there the entire time. And every time we tried to remove him from that area, he would come back. Multiple times he would go up and down the elevator with us. Just kind of vibing out the whole time. He's just chilling. I'll let you in on a little secret. I kind of lose my shit when I see a big bug too. You know, same though. If there's like a if there's like a bug, like I just feel something crawling on my shoulder, I immediately just fucking slap the shit out of it. Whatever it is, it dies immediately. Since I started living alone, what am I gonna do? I don't have any family. I'll come squash it. Hey, I can swing by with the shoe of death if you want. Wouldn't be quite proper of me to show up at a girl's house now, wouldn't? Yay, perfect! We actually got a perfect here. I'm in. Goro the Exterminator Majima. Just add... Man, that, that title is going to have a different meaning probably in a few games. Alright. I say we call it a day. Let's get it. Perfect lesson. All right. Yay. Service time. Hold up. What is this? View page. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna keep my clown show. Someone gave me a small guide to make them look somewhat normal, but I'm keeping it as the clown show. All right, let's do it. All right, so Saki is our main earner. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Average. <laughs> Where's the Obitarian? This is Silver Knight. Poor. What? What do you want? Uh, refill ice. Got it. Probably poor. Well. What you got? Menu. Menu. Poor? Average. Where's the wealthy man at? Ladies class. Mm. 
Uh, refill ice. Constant flashbang, my eyes. <laughs> Man, watching this, watching this mini game in a dark room. Uh, extend session? Eh, try for it anyway. Alright. Now you fever it up. I'm gonna be honest, I have not paid any attention to the fact that it goes blinding white until someone in chat mentioned it, and I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Alright, more fans. Alright, we'll give you that. There we go. Get them on a fever. Expensive gift. So now I've got both the wealthy guys on a fever. Even though the wealthy guys are mad, like, you really just... It doesn't really matter that much. You just wait for a fever. Extend session? No, oh, no, oh, just expensive gift. There you go. Alright. More fans. Whoever brought this up needs to step on a Lego. I'm gonna... I... I it's actually kind of funny to me that I did not notice this until somebody mentioned it. I've just been blissfully unaware of the flashbang. Now I can't unsee it, and I hate it. The Lego is pretty intense, though, dude. Oh, the fever did not fix it. He is still mad. Well, I tried. I hate this girl. Give better girl. Oh, then one extend. Good mood, average, not poor, doesn't want to extend. How dare you? Well, I tried. I'm going to extend the session even though you're smadging. Nice. <laughs> Why, well, yes, I would love to be that <laughs> I would love to be pissed off just a little bit longer. Thank you. 
とうございましたあまりに what 4000 fans in the mercury area specifically also need to go check out the mercury club but I'll be right back one second I do need to use the restroom I lost my sight thanks to solar flare. Hold on, wait, before I go use the restroom. Hold up. I leave you with best song. Just have this burned into your brain. Check out Club Mercury. Let's go over to Mizuruma's Club Mercury and check things out. We really going? Yeah, of course. You want to hang back? Yeah. I think I'll pass. Okay. You're acting a little funny here, Yurucha. What's the matter? Well, actually, Majima-san, while you're out, please go buy some vinegar. What? Vinegar? Can it wait? No, it can't wait. I'm making some Chirashi and I need vig. Uh, vinegar, right now. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I thought I smelled some rice cooking. Please, Majima-san. I really need some vinegar. It's really just simple request. vin e -gar. Okay. Vinegar. Got it. On my way, uh, I'm on my way out, and I'll buy some while I'm at it. <laughs> Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. What's the matter? You just... No, it's nothing. Maybe he doesn't like Chirashi. <clears throat> Vinegar is sold out everywhere. At this rate, Yuki-chan Chirashi is going to get cold. Hey, mister, you want a party? Uh -huh. Eh? I'm busy. Maybe next time. I'll try uh -huh. someone else. Seriously? That's too bad. But you've been wandering around here for a while now. Are you looking for something? <laughs> Holy. Yeah, I need vinegar. But apparently, uh, it's on the whole town shopping list because it's sold out everywhere. Vinegar? Oh, we have some at our club. Yeah? Would you sell me some? Come on. I'll give you that for free. All I ask is that you party with me a bit. Please. Yeah, I guess I got no choice. <clears throat> well, that drink sure didn't do much for me. But listen, Misty, I gotta get going. Oh, seriously? We barely got started, mister. I got someone waiting for me, so, uh, I swear, I asked you for something earlier. What was it? Come on. 
I have something for you first. You know what I'm talking about, right? You gonna extend your services? Huh? What? No, the check. Sir, comes out to 100,000 yen. Excuse me? 100,000? All I had was one watered down drink. You mix up the tables or something? It's not a mistake, sir. We charge 100,000 at our establishment for that drink. Huh? Are you shitting me? That's highway robbery. I ain't giving you that kind of money. If that's your stance, sir, we'll have to resort to methods that may be a bit uncomfortable. You will need, uh, I will need to convince you to pay your bill one way or another. Huh. Well, here's the bill. How dare you charge me? Home run! Come back. You still gonna try and rip me off? No, I wouldn't dream of it. Please forgive me. Crying out loud. How'd I get myself into that? Oh crap, I forgot all about the vinegar. I'm really gonna catch hell from Yuki-chan now. Huh? This place. Club Mercury. This is Mizu uh, Mizumura's place from the five stars. Damn. I'm back. Majima-san, welcome back. Oh, man. I sure found some trouble this time. What kind of trouble? I see. So that's how he runs Club Mercury. Yeah. So, can you clue me in, Yoda-chan? Tell me about the place. What? I don't know anything. Don't hide it. You go all mumble mouth whenever someone mentions Club Mercury. What's the big secret? Well, that's... We're trying to beat the five stars here. If you know anything, now's the time to tell me. If you don't want to talk about it, I will. Mizumura-san. Oh, shit. An old man. I didn't get a chance to take a good look last time, but it seems like you have a fine club here, Yoda. Mizumura-san, what happened to you? What changed? Ripping your customers off? You never would have done anything like that before. Mizumura-san, is it too late for you to turn back? You could teach me more about how to run a club, just like in the old days. People change, Yoda. I can't come back to the way things used to be. Mizumura-san from the Five Stars. What's your business here? I doubt you're here just to swap war stories. I just stopped by to thank my customer. I'm sure he really enjoyed our drinks. Uh. Yeah, tap water always goes down smooth. Got me nice and hydrated for the exercise I got afterward too. Little brat. Here's a word of advice I give to hot-blooded young men. Yeah, what's that? The five stars are evil. <sighs> But going up against evil isn't always the good thing to do. What are you trying to say? If you want to live peacefully in this city, don't challenge the five stars. Follow my example. What example would that be? Oh. Mizumura-san, here you are. Ibiki. It's not safe for you to be walking around here by yourself. I was worried about you. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm sorry for the interruption. Shall we head back? Mm. Yes. I hope I do not need to see you again. Well, that was a shocker. I didn't know you and Mizumuro used to work together. Well, yes. You still don't want to talk about it? When I... When I first got into this industry, 
Mr. Murasan taught me the basics of running a club. I see. Mr. Murasan was kind. He was strict at times, but he was always full of enthusiasm. He taught me so much. And then, he became an old man. There were times he and I talked about... Talked all night about our dream of building up Sotenbori's nightlife scene. That's... Oh. I looked up to him. He was my mentor. But now, he's one of the five stars. And also an old man. And nothing like he used to be. The old Mizumura-san would never do dirty things like ripping off his own customers. But now, Mizumura-san that I used to work with is gone. I just couldn't accept that, you know? That's why you didn't want to talk about Club Mercury. Yes. Well, thanks for opening up about it. Yeah. No. I should have told you much earlier. You're damn right you shoulda. Look, we're in this for the long haul together, so we gotta be a team. If you're ever having a tough time, let's talk. Majima-san, thank you very much. And you too, Yuta-san. Uh, what are you doing just loafing around? We were having a heart-to-heart -heart talk here, Yuki. What's so important that you gotta erupt? Vinegar is! I promise you two lovebirds can get back to it uh, when you give it to me. You did get... You did get some for me, right? I really need vinegar. I forgot. Cryptid, thanks for the prime sub. Appreciate the smedge. I forgot. All right, prepare to open. Cast on duty. You're always happy. Yay, I love that. Hell yeah. Which means you're always going to be on duty. All right, so now we want grandma. Are you any good? Miss Eyesore? Eyesore is pretty good. What about unknown? Is unknown good at all? Not really, no. <laughs> you get to work at the cabaret club. Uh, Eyesore is pretty good. Especially since she's level one. We'll level her up. Uh, Psycho good? gold do we want? Honestly, we'll take the unknown. Unknown for 60 love at level 1 is pretty good. You know? It's a pretty good stat. God, we have a lot of love. Alright. Well... Uh, special training. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go talk to Wendy real quick. Ready for round two? All right. Let's give it our all. Here we go. <sighs> A secret. Thanks for subbing, dude. Appreciate that. Can I ask about... Uh, anything about relationships? That's good. <laughs> we'll see about that. First off, uh, what kind of fella is your type, Saki? A type. Masculine? What? You like guys to be ripped? <laughs> you might as well just get used to this. We're going to make a new creation every time. That's totally me! No. Dependable and solid. Someone like you. So you're looking for a guy like yourself. You're pretty dependable too. Huh. 
守ってあげたくなるような女の子らしい可愛い子の方が好きですもんねそうやな After watching you play this for four straight days, I ended up buying all the Yakuza's on Steam. Now my wallet is a lot lighter. Homeboy, I was like, each, each game's like a hundred hours. You can buy them one at a time. You don't gotta buy them all. You don't gotta be like, watch Baru play Yakuza. Time to buy every Yakuza. I can tell you, that's gonna take you a minute to get through all of those. But they were on sale? I mean, true. Yakuza Zero is like five bucks right now, so. They are in. Good luck. <laughs> I just, I can, dude, I can see it now. That guy. Yakuza 3 and 4. Have just, they're just going to be assigned to the Steam backlog. That's what happens when you buy them all. When you buy them all at once, they get, they get sent to the graveyard known as the Steam backlog. One through seven is currently the price of a single triple A game, so it's a great buy. Hey, you're not wrong. It's good. More games for the library. I know d Twitch chat has a lot of games in there. Chat, type one if you have just bought games, go, I'm going to play this, and then never do. Damn, that's a lot. <sighs> backlog is the trophy hunter's kryptonite. The good old backlog. Yeah. I got a lot of in the... A lot of them in there. I'll play this eventually. Is that poor Yuki? Yes. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome welcome back to my playthrough. Lots of guys prefer that type, but there are still some dudes out there who like strong women. Oh. I think I brought her down. Well, that was not the right answer. Not Saki? Oh, wait. Which one is this? They, I have, like, I can't tell anymore who we even have because we've turned them into all absolute fucking clowns. You know what? I don't even care who you were before. You're just Wendy's now. From here on out, I don't know who you are. <laughs> You're just Wendy's. We have Wendy's to be. We'll think of we'll think of some names for the other two. French fry hair. <laughs> Baconator. <laughs> we cannot name one of them Baconator. Oh no. Narcissist na hito to ka na yo na yo bista hito wa shoujiki mite de to ira ira shita imasu ne. Narcissus and weakling. Oh yeah, it's Condiment Chan. You're right. So 2B, Wendy's, Condiment Chan, and I'll think of a name for Yuki. Later. Eh? Mm. It's a fast food kitchen with a near collab. <laughs> I love it. Make him spoil you? I don't know. Am 
<laughs> Time for a bad lesson. Hey, a little bit. Lukewarm. Not terrible. <laughs> How many guys have you given a chance? Three. What about back in your student days? Sounds like you made it through your teenage years pretty unscathed. You didn't have a crush on anyone? <laughs> There's the drama I was looking for. How come you never said anything? <laughs> you did all that without saying a word to him? It's either it's either X or Y. We'll go with Y. I'm sure you made that guy feel like a million bucks. Always nice to know someone cares about you enough to give you some chocolate. No doubt in my mind. And if he found out they were from you, he would have been over the moon. <laughs> of course. Now you got me looking forward to it. All right, one more question. And we'll get an okay. You know, you come off as pretty straightforward girl, but I think you've got a wide-eyed innocent side to you. Okay. Let's say you got a date with a guy that you fell head over heels for. How's it going to play out? See? Boom. Innocent and a little scared, right? Probably worried. Be a little worried. Might get the idea that she wasn't having a good time. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Nah. Don't even think too deeply about it. There's probably lots of guys who like a girl who's a little shy and quiet. Well. Alright. That session went great. Normal lesson. Hell yeah. Alright. It's okay. Alright. Open for business. Mercury. Open business. Let's do it. Alright. What do we got here? Right. <laughs> there, you can have a gold. There. 
Alright. What do you need? Uh, swap ashtray. Okay. Nice. We got two. Ooh, mega rich. Give me Chica. Oh no, he wants Yuki. Hold on. I'm dumb. There we go. Throw the money around. Always go for the extension. It's fever time. You gotta extend. L? Guest blast. I like how that guy's poor, but he has a suit. Alright, you have Saki. Alright, fever it up again. Look at all that money. Expensive gift because we're trying to get fans here. Oh. Expensive gift. Alright. Corruptor, thanks for 110 months. Jesus. Oh, he wants the old lady. Hell yeah. As soon as that timer starts. Boom. Fever. Mega rich. Another expensive gift. Beautiful. Alright, you can have Yuki. Grandma is about to make a lot of money. Holy shit. A mega rich guy who's going to fever that entire bar. Holy shit. All you need. All right, towel for you. The mighty Obatarian strikes again. She might actually be the top earner for. Look at how much money he's throwing! It's ridiculous! Oh, I didn't fever him. Oh well. I tried. Wow. Look at that tab. Damn. 11 million. Jesus. Uh, what did you ask for again? I didn't even pay attention. I'm sorry. Wild Lupus Xavier, thank you. Get it, Grandma. Make every little penny. Alright. Aww. It didn't fever it. No. Oh well. 
Still making money, though. All right, how much money? 34 million, damn. Damn, Grandma! Holy shit! God, I love how Grandma is beating all these Platinums. Look at that. Platinum, 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 platinum. No. At the top, Grandma. Grandma is the best one. <sighs> Perfect. A thousand fans. Yay, we can do the we can do the battle now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san. We topped 2,000 fans in the Club Mercury area. Yeah, right on. Looks like we got some momentum going. Yes. <laughs> 2,000, 4,000. I definitely am gaining the fans faster than the story is supposed to go. So what happened is, is that we did the hardest area first. And now we're doing the, the second area. So we're just leveling past everything. The boss fight's going to be a shit show. You having second thoughts about going up against the old man? Honestly, I don't know what I should do, but we can't leave things as they are. Let's defeat Mizumura-san together. Right on. Majima-san, I think I need some vinegar. Say what? Are you making Chirashi sushi again? Of course. Thanks to a certain someone, we wound up having a rice ball party last time. Uh, sorry. AI Chan is helping me this time, so please, make sure you pick up some vinegar. Okay, I'll go get some now. We're never getting this vinegar. That's, that's the joke. We're never getting the vinegar. What the hell? Why are they sold out of vinegar everywhere? AI Chan's gonna be pissed. Wait a damn minute. Why is the manager of the club gotta run around like a freaking errand boy anyway? Really? You're sold out of vinegar too? Hmm? I know that voice. What am I going to do? I wanted to make uh, Inarizushi for Mizuruma. Ain't that Hibiki from Club Mercury? Hmm? <laughs> what a coincidence that we're both looking for vinegar. For sure. So you're making Inari Zushi. Sounds tasty. Oh, mine is really delicious. It's Mizumura san's favorite. You've really got a soft spot for that uh for the old man, huh? <laughs> Mizumura san is so suave and cool. He understands that I can't work too much, but he still supports me. You can't work that much? Yeah. I have a much younger brother, and I take care of him, so it's difficult for me to work every day. And I get tired pretty easy to begin with. mizumura son knew I'd have to take a lot of time off and hired me anyway. So, I'm really thankful. I feel indebted to him. Even though you work at a ripoff of a club? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it wasn't always like that. But after his wife passed away, Mizumura-san started gradually changing. His wife passed away? Yeah, about a year ago. At the time, Mercury wasn't even a cabaret club. It was a regular cabaret. Uh... Mizumura-san and his wife ran the business together. So when she passed, I imagine it was doubly hard on Mizumura-san. He was determined to run the cabaret by himself somehow, but it didn't go so well. Running a club like that alone at his age must have been really tough. Yeah. But right around that time, Club Moon's uh, Tsukiyama invited him to join the Five Stars. If you ask me, converting the cabaret to a cabaret club was something Tsukitama made him do. Mizumura's son seemed really sad when that happened. Ever since, Ever since then, though, 
he'll do anything. He's followed all the five stars orders without questions, right down to scamming the customers. He's been through a lot. Even after all that, I felt like I had to stay by his side. I haven't been able to re repay my debt to Mizumura. I'm sure it's okay to tell me all that. Are you sure it's okay for you to tell me all that? I'm Club Mercury's competition after all. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I was just talking to myself. That was a hell of a soliloquy. 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 Then. Maybe you can free Mizumura-san from the Five Stars Curse. You say something? <laughs> Nothing at all. Then thanks for sharing. Don't mention it. I'll see you around. Yeah. Soliloquy. Oh. Learning English with Twitch chat. It's pretty late. I guess we were talking for a while there. Mizumura-san. Uh, what you're doing is wrong. Hmm? You can't be choosy about my methods to achieve my goals. You will understand this one day, Yura. It's not something I want to understand. Mizumura-san, I will stop you no matter what. Even if it means I have to defeat you. Stare. <laughs> you sound like you've grown a pair, son. Fine. Come at me with all you've got. I've sold my soul to the five stars. I've poured my life into Club Mercury. See if you can take me down with your dreams and idealism. I will win. I'll beat you and show you how wrong you are. All right, Yoda. I'm looking forward to the next time we meet. Hi. Definitely. Yoda-chan. Hey, Majima-san. Welcome back. You've been gone a while. All right. Let's get this club ready for the show. Let's hop to it. Come on now. Chop chop. We can't keep our customers waiting, you know. <laughs> You're right. Hi. Let's do this. For sure. Majima-san. The vinegar? You got it this time, right? I totally forgot. Well. Tried. Well, you know what time it is, chat. It's time for another special training with Wendy's. This time we're going on a date to a disco. <laughs> hey, you need to practice. Yeah, you need to sometimes go on dates. Up, oh, I'd mash day through that. It's okay. I don't want to do the disco anyway. Normal it is. I would back out of this, but then that would turn that into a bad date. Alright. Let's three star it. Wow, I'm doing terrible. sad that it doesn't um, change her into the Wendy's outfit. You win. Perfect lesson. I learned about dancing a lot. 
All right. Cast on duty. It's time for a silver knight. All right, let's do it. Except for Saki, because Saki is always happy and great worker. So you can just never need to break. Right, open for business. We'll do it in the Mercury area. Why do you have an old lady in the cast? Because I can. Uh, mega rich right off the bat and Saki. Ooh, okay. All right. I mean, that's perfect. We want all the XP to go into Saki here. So that's, that's good. Okay. He wanted a full session. Give you that. Perfect. All right, we got a wealthy here. Uh, we'll give you that. What do you need? Ladies glass, perfect. That would be great is if he extends his session and then I hit him with a fever. That would be beautiful. Ladies class again. He wants a long session, so. We'll, all, we'll, we'll hope that he does it. We'll hope he goes for the extension here. Another mega rich, but you're mad. Uh, refill ice. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll swap out the ashtray. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Actually, wait. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap you out for that. Yeah, because you want sake. And then I'll be able to get a level three fever going, which is even better. I'm swapping them out. I'm getting them onto this one right here. Or actually, you know what? Let's just hit that now. Yeah, let's just hit it now. Because that'll make you happy again. So something I've noticed, the only thing that really matters is how happy your guest is. Doesn't care, doesn't matter if they're requesting a specific girl. All that matters is they're happy. So they're just gonna keep spending money. Uh, we'll do an expensive gift to get more fans, because why not? Go for the extension? Hell yeah. Beautiful. Got an extension on him. Might be able to get an extension on this one, too. Extension, yeah? Denied the extension. Oh. Extension is just random. Okay. What you got? Yeah. I should be giving them a reward so they can actually heal.
Yeah, I know. Asking for an extension has no penalty. We'll give her a reward so we can improve her performance, but I think it's just extra XP. And then we'll change... That one will be easier to make happy. Probably wait for a level 3 here. Could wait for a level 3. Extend? Nah, tried. Sometimes they'll do it even when unhappy. Uh, menu. Okay. Uh, leaving sad really has no real effect on you. Alright, I want the tier... I want to tier 3 here. I think it's worth waiting for the tier 3. Come on. Tier 3. And there we go. Now we just... Everybody's throwing money. Look at that. Give her a reward for XP. It looks like she's going to actually finish with the Mega Ridge. So that's actually really good timing here. Yo, Nox, thank you for gifting five subs. Appreciate that, dude. Good old Aranda making us money somehow. I prefer this or the real estate minigame. Oh, this, easily. Re I mean, honestly, the real estate minigame was just an idle game, more than anything. With story in between. This actually has a game in it. Damn, suck, it made a lot of money. Holy... Socket cleaned up. Akemi did go hard, though. She did go hard. Nice. To be fair, she was on Mega Wealthy back to back. That's why, that's why I was confused why everybody was, like, question-marking me when I changed them out. Chad screaming at me, why'd you change it? That's why. Mm. Alright, congratulations, Majima-san. We topped 4,000 fans from the Club Mercury. Wasn't there another cap? I feel like I saw someone play on Twitch, like, a cabaret minigame. Is there another game that has this? But it had like cutscenes for doing Fever. Kiwami 2? Oh. That means I'd have to play Kiwami 1 to get there. Wouldn't I? Alright, well, next game drought. Next game drought, honestly, I'd play it. I'm not going to play two Yakuza games back to back. That's way too much Yakuza for me. I'm going to tell you right that right now. That's way too much fucking Yakuza for me. But next time that we have just a solid 10 days where I don't care, nothing new's coming out, I'll play Kiwami 1. So I'll see y'all in two years again. <laughs> I 
And that showdown with old man uh, Mizumura is coming up even sooner. Yes, we have to stop Mizumura-san. He's going down the wrong path. manjima it's been a while. Well, if it ain't Hibiki-chan from Club Mercury, what's up? I don't, uh, I don't stock vinegar here. <laughs> I'm okay on vinegar. I found a shop the other day that sells a lot of it. Anyway, will you accept this? It's a challenge. We're finally going to have a cabaret club battle with the old man, huh? No hard feelings either way, okay? Uh, right. No hard feelings. I have to be going. Bye, majima -kun. Bye. Wait. Hibiki-chan! Hey! Can you tell me more about the store with the vin- She's gone already. And with it, the knowledge of the vinegar. I will never get vinegar. That girl Hibiki had you eating out of her hand. She's going to be one tough enemy. We can't lose. Yeah. Not sure why you're getting so worked up, though. Like Yuki-chan says, Club Mercury is a powerful enemy. Before we take them on, we should make sure to sort out our staff lineup and get ready. What about Yakuza Ishin, the one that's coming out next month? No. No. Oh no, one of the silvers can't show up for the rival battle. Oh well. Oh god. No, don't go in there with silvers. Hold on. Prepare to open. Cast on. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's good. Talk is good versus Mercury. Oh yeah, I guess we are going to be fighting a lot more talk, huh? Special training. Customer service three. All right, let's go another round, shall we? Sounds good. I'll do my best. Everybody say hi to Wendy. Say hi, Wendy. Hi. <laughs> Velma. Velma. What are you going to talk about today? Ask me whatever you want. Fire at will. My strengths. My drive. My drive to reach my goals, I think. And what makes you think that? Nani 
そういうギラギラした目つきの人周りによくいたからなんとなくわかるんですなるほどな I see you got a keen eye there Saki 私読んでる人好きですよ一緒に頑張りましょう<笑> For sure うん早くもマジマさんに聞きたいことなくなってきちゃったなおいおい。But you only asked one question. Am I that dull to you? Yes. 冗談ですって。えっと、私、前の店で錬金の先って呼ばれてたんですけど、この店でも錬金した方がいいですか As your customer, I shouldn't be answering these work related questions, but. Don't work every day. Work every day. The correct answer is don't work every day. Hmm. But B is the Corpa. From a business perspective, it'd be great to have you in here every day. You're a hard working and popular, so it'd be a no brainer for us. But the last thing we want is for you to get sick and pushing yourself too hard. So you gotta do what's right. It was a trap. Trap question. The club's revenue is its lifeblood, but you ladies are the heart and soul that keep it pumping. I'll make sure you stay in good shape. Jesus Christ, what did Baru do to Saki? I don't know. I no no logical explanation gets us here. All right, enough cheating. Why don't you ask something that might be fun to talk? About with your customers. Wow. You went straight for the jugular with that one. Guess that's what I should have expected from Club Jupiter's number one girl. And then she thanks me like I was complimenting her aim. Perfection. Anyway. What was the question? What do I want a girl to do? Maybe cook for me. I know it sounds dumb, but I think that's something any guy could appreciate deep down. It's fried chicken. Your specialty? Of course I remember. It's. that one. Uh, Karaji, right? Fried chicken. So, so, Yay for easy questions. Karaji, lover like me? Like I'd forget. Besides, how could I forget something you told me? Randy, thanks for the prime sum. Appreciate that. Ah. Awesome. I can smell it already. <laughs> oh, all right. Should I be scared? An excellent question. Worthy of the great philosopher Majima. Friendship between a man and a woman, eh? Yes? I feel like that one's obvious. Of course, men and women can be friends. I mean, I'm sure most of the time one side of the equation wants something more, but you gotta figure that romantic feelings aren't the only kind of love there is in the world. 
There's no love between a teacher and student, love of family, and love between friends. There's all kinds of love. Assuming that every relationship between a man and a woman is going to end up in romance is pretty small time thinking. <laughs> you friend zoned her? Darn. <laughs> Perfect lesson. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. As promised, that'll do for today. <laughs> Perfect lesson! Alright. Good. Rival battle. Majima and Yura, it's been a while. Mizumura-san, I'm going to stop you. Yura, you're just like how I used to be a long time ago. I hope your youthful enthusiasm won't be your undoing. Yura-chan's really fired up for a change. There's no way we can lose with him flipping out like that. Yes. Well, I can't lose either. I have a promise to keep. A promise. Nothing you should concern yourself with. Either way, it's the end of the road for you. <laughs> now you get to see Mizumura-san when he really means business. They used to call him the Lion of the Cabaret, you know. I'm looking forward to this. Sorry, old man. There ain't no way we're stopping here. Let's start this up. Club Sunshine's open for business. I feel like you could start... A Gamba here, Kanky. Who's gonna make the most money? Grandma, Yuki, or Saki? Those are my top three earners. Uh, I'll do that for now. Or you could list all the platinum girls. Oh, you want Yuki. Okay. Beautiful. Mercury trick. Rival sales are up. Oh shit. They scammed. Let's throw gold onto average. I don't really care too much. There we go. You can do that there. Yeah, let's throw our gold onto an average again. Alright. We need ladies glass. Perfect. Ladies glass again. More flashbangs. Menu. Once Chica. I don't know where Chica is right now. It didn't fever the one guy that I wanted to fever.
Always give a reward. Yeah. Always give a reward for battles. Mega rip. I actually don't I actually want to just get him out of here just so that way maybe we can get another wealthier mega rich in I actually don't want averages to extend their stay uh, let's give you a gold What we got here? Wealthy? Loves Yuki. Looking for another super wealthy person. We fill the ice. How about an extension? Hell yeah. Swap out the ashtray. Well, Grandma finally gets something. I fevered too early. Grandma got nothing. Grandma got scraps. Oh, poor Grandma. Poor granny believers. <laughs> Grandma's getting breadcrumbs tonight. Want sake, man. Sake, sake betters are gonna, they're gonna eat well tonight. One by a little bit. <sighs> Woo! Chica was the number one earner, not Yuki or Saki. <laughs> Poor Grandma, not even on. Oh my god, Grandma! How the mighty have fallen. God damn. One to 412 odds that Chica was gonna win. Holy shit. That's funny. <laughs> Chica simps. They, they will dine well. 
Honestly, okay, Kanki, just get this one ready. We're gonna have Chica, AI, Yuki, Saki, and Grandma. And then whoever the new girl is. We're just gonna have that Gamba rotating. Five people are rich. <laughs> Holy shit. Only five people betted for Ch for Chuck. Chica? Chucky. Chica. It's Chica. The new five stars. I already forgot her name. <laughs> we did it! Yes. I lost. You've done well, Yuda. Splendid. After all, none of my apprentices ever surpassed you. Mizumura-san. I'm glad it was you I lost to. Now I can shut down my club with no regrets. You don't have to do that, Mizumura-san. You, you can still start over. We can do this the right way, together. <sighs> Yuda, that's not possible. I've gone too far down a different path. But after I lost my wife, I used every dirty trick in the book to protect the club. As long as I was alive, I would keep the club going. That's the promise I made to her before she died. A promise. I heard about your wife's passing, but I had no idea you'd make a promise like that. It was difficult for an old man like me to run that cabaret without any help. So it went downhill quickly. And pretty soon, I was in danger of going out of business. That's when Tsukiyama appeared on the scene. Business was good, as long as I did what the, that man said. Whether it was converting the club from a cabaret to a cabaret club, or ripping off cut... What's... What? What's a cabaret? First cabaret club. I'm stupid. Chime me in. I did everything he told me to. The grand would be the is cabaret. Sunshine is cabaret club. Yeah, you got you still don't know the difference. I looked past all of it, because I knew that's how the club was staying open. I basically sold my soul to the devil. But this is the end of the road for Club Mercury. It's time. It was time quite a while ago, in fact. I don't know when it'll be, but when I get to heaven, I'll tell my wife. I'll tell her I'm sorry. Mizumura-san, I had no idea. I didn't know. And I said all those things to you. Don't ever lose your honesty. You really remind me of myself back in the day. With you around, I'm confident the future of Sotenbori's entertainment district is in good hands. Mizumura. Majima, I've seen what you're capable of doing, too. And I ask you a favor. What is it? After Club Mercury is gone, would you let Hibiki work at your club? I know she's a little weaker than some girls and that she can't come into work every day. Most clubs wouldn't put up with it for very long. But your club... Seems like the type that would actually welcome her for the talent she does have. Would you? <laughs> of course. Any girl you trained would be a welcome addition to the team. That's great. Thank you. I'm still sending her to work every day. <laughs> Hibiki, thank you for everything you've done. Take care of your younger brother and mother. Family is everything. Well then, it's time for this old soldier to turn to it, to uh, turn in his combat boots. We may not see each other again. Hi. Guess Gramps was pretty cool. Yeah, I really looked up to him. Majima kun, thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to working with you. Yeah, I am too. I'm counting on you, Hibiki kun. You can count on me. All right. Why are you ogling her? I ain't. R2 am not. That's enough flirting, you two. 
get a grip. Let's get serious here. The five stars are still out there. Wait, did I just get a scolding from Yudachan? Well, that was humiliating. You watch, Mizumura-san. I'll be the one to carry your legacy forward. I wish you'd always work this hard. Don't worry. He'll be back to his old Hi. self tomorrow. Majima-san, everyone else, let's get ready for the next shift. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So even Mizumura-san has fallen. He was an old man who was behind the times. All they did was kick out his crutches. Hitomi, I assume there are already plans in place to deal with him? Of course. What kind of assistant would I be if I waited until you asked to take care of these matters? Remarkable as always. Goro Majima of Club Sunshine, I'm looking forward to seeing how you handle the challenges that await you. Cool. Here's one billion yen! <laughs> Tukiyama's Club Moon is the only club remaining. Club Moon has always set uh, the bar. I never imagined we'd be on the same level as them, much less have a shot at winning. Aye. Let's take the fight to Club Moon area. You can now take on Club Moon. Progress the story uh, and cabaret club battles by increasing the number of fans in each area. Gain more fans in the Club Moon area by running the club and partnering up with businesses. Yay! All right, let's do it. Let's go out and go buy a bunch of real estate real quick, and then we're going to play this mini game until we finish off everything. All right. Oh. Mm hmm. Business partners. All right, Club Moon area. Beautiful. Out of my way. Doop, doop. No, we don't really need the money that we get from this. Money is basically irrelevant at this point. You've got a thousand fans! Hey, dude. What's up? Just buying businesses. Don't mind me. Actually, I guess we can shotgun you down real quick. Hold on. Hey. Fight me! What the fuck? Now he's gone. You see what you do? I had a good thing going, and you ruin it. Now how am I going to afford all these businesses? Barely breaking even here. as well. Boba! 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 Nice. Hmm. What can I order?
Oh. Alright. I've been doing this for a while, so I can tell by the way you drink. Are you well versed in various liquors, sir? I wouldn't embarrass myself trying to show off to an expert like you. I'd gladly listen to some interesting liquor trivia from you, though. <laughs> I'll be happy to share some of what I know. Just like people, liquors have their own character, and each is unique. Understanding the subtle differences may help you appreciate them better. Well, I'll be looking forward to coming here again and listening to your liquor tales. Gotta go for now. Very well. Alright. Uh, let's go all the way down here and grab this one. Real fast. Cool. All right. Uh, how's our business doing? There's only two places that we haven't partnered with. Uh, that area, and then there's, like, one over here that's gonna require something specific. I have to build up friendship. But now let's go do this one. Alright. Time to order more alcohol. Delicious. Delicious. Sorry, you've had too much to drink. I've had too much. No. I'm fine. Alright. Hey, there's Mr. Libido again. Having his drink. Hold on. Delicious. I can drink again. Cool. <laughs> You've been visiting often recently. Uh, so if you'd like, your next drink is on the house. You don't mind? Not at all. Mmm. Delicious. It's got good whiskey. 18-year-old Yamazaki. Uh, aged in sherry casks. Sherry casks, eh? That sounds pretty tasty. Yes. Uh, they're casks that were first used for aging sherry. The wood soaks up some of it in the process. Uh, then they're used to age whiskey. It becomes infused with a subtle sherry aroma and takes on a unique tinge. You make it sound so enticing. I bet... Even someone who doesn't normally drink whiskey would be tempted. <laughs> Bet accepted. But that means you'll have to bring your friend here to test your theory. So, the free drink was just a clever way to make me bring in more customers. You're quite perceptive. Well, thanks for the Yamazaki and the Sherry Cask trivia. I'll be back sometime to learn some more. Yeah. Alcohol trivia just... We're just gonna spam through this. I don't care what voodoo you did to the alcohol before it got into the bottle. You're getting skipped. You've had a little too much to drink. Hold on, let me puke it out real quick. Okay. <laughs> you know all my tricks, but it's on the house today. If you find something you like, you can order it next time. You're offering me a free tasting session? I ain't gonna say no to that. 
In that case, let me pour you something special. It's art, stop. You see, we took the whiskey and we sacrificed a chicken over it. And that is what gives it its unique flavor. The sacrifice of life. Try this one. This one's strong, eh? <laughs> Nugget new. No. Mmm, delicious. Where's it from? It's a Scotch whiskey. Valentine's 17 year old. It's held in high esteem worldwide. Must be pretty special. It's a blend of more than 40 different single malts from all over Scotland, matured for 17 years. I guess that explains the complex taste. Valentine's 17 years old, huh? The more you know, the more you marvel at all the work that goes into making this stuff. I'm looking forward to our next lesson. Of course, I'm looking forward to your next visit. Alright. Yep. Delicious. You've had a little too much to drink. Understood. I'll be right back. I feel like I'm gonna need more of them. Chat's blending themselves again. Chat. Y'all gotta stop one day. Y'all gotta stop blending yourselves. Get help, chat. Stop it. I just got a call from my supplier. They finally have a liquor I've been trying to get for ages, but I need to go now and get it in person. Ah. You want to close up early? No problem. I'll get going. Yeah. No, that's not it. I was hoping you might agree to mind the bar until I get back. You want me to tend your bar? Why well, I gotta do that? It won't take long. Besides, when I'm back, we could open one of the bottles of the new liquor and have a private tasting session. Just the two of us. Is this... Is this where I'm now going to have to fulfill an order? And I had to pay attention to all the bullshit trivia you've been giving me? Because I can tell you right now, none of that happening. I, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh no. Well, that changes things, don't it? Where do I sign? I imagine a connoisseur like you won't have any trouble explaining the drinks we serve to any customers who might come in. I ain't so sure about that. Well, I do owe them for the free booze. Booze. If it's just for a little while, uh, I guess I can do it. Fine. I'll do it. I'm looking forward to a taste of that new stuff. <laughs> Booza. Okay. Go get the stuff. Hi. Okay. I am armed with the power of Twitch chat. Chat, I just want y'all to scream the scream whatever answer you see on there, and I'm just gonna pick one. Alright. Give me the right answer. Give me the wrong answer. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pick someone in chat. Let's see what kind of fucked up drink we give them. Just my luck. Someone's here already. Evening. Uh, welcome. That's not the usual bartender. Yeah. I wonder what's up with that. So, where's the usual bartender? Um, he had to step out on urgent business. That's too bad. He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of liquors from around the world. I was really looking forward to his commentary. You're into that stuff? <laughs> yeah, but I'm no expert. This bar's got an impressive whiskey collection, though. That's why I like it. I see. In that case, what kind of whiskey can I pour you? We'll start with the domestics, I think. Japanese whiskey, huh? Yamazaki is a good choice. Uh, what were those casts they used again? Sherry! Hey, I actually remember that one. When it comes to Japanese whiskey, 
Yamazaki's an excellent choice. Their secret lies in the casks they use. Really? Casks. There's a subtle sweetness underneath the bitter taste of this whiskey, ain't there? It comes from the casks. From the casks? Do tell. Yamazaki whiskey matures in casks previously used to make oh. sherry. That's why the whiskey takes on some of the sherry's flavor and aroma. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. All right, they're eating this up. Can I get you another round of drinks? Let's try something else. Can you recommend something? Maybe a scotch? Scotch whiskey, huh? What's the name of that popular one? Ballantines. I remember oh. that one. If it's scotch you want, you'll definitely want to try Ballantine seven, uh, 17 years old. Really? Why is that? Over 40 single malts are blended to make this whiskey. Matured for 17 years to perfection. It's held in high esteem all over the world. More than 40 single malts go into that. Unbelievable. Yeah, I could talk for hours about every single one of them. Please do. I'm really curious. I will. On your next visit. The suspense is going to kill us. I guess we've got no choice but to come again soon. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm loving the drinks here. I want to try more. Yeah, me too. Let's pick something up for this time. Uh, you enjoyed the Yamazaki whiskey and its sherry aroma, right? I think I know what you'd like, bartender. Uh, you have Glenfiddichin. Glenfiddich? Uh. Yes, an excellent choice. What's it like? Don't ask me. Let me think. It's got something in common with Yamazaki whiskey and its sherry aroma. Ah, uh, it's got deep earthly. Yeah, I think it was earth. Oh no! What chat? I actually have to rely on Twitch chat for this one. Oh god! Everybody's saying fruity. Sherry is a fruit, I think. Fruity. Ah. Glen Fittich is a whiskey with a smooth feel and a fruity aroma. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I love drinks with fruity aroma. I can't wait to try it. That fruitness distracts you from how strong the alcohol is, though. So you have to be oh. careful. Exactly. It's all too easy to get drunk with this one. I managed to wing it somehow. Thanks. It's time for us to get going. I think I might have had too much. I hope you had a good time. Please, come again. Man, I barely got through that. Bartending ain't exactly a walk in the park. Hey, you're back. <laughs> Thanks for mining the bar. I got the uh. liquor. That's good. I bumped into two customers who were just leaving the bar. It seems you did an excellent job. Please, take this. You earned it. French wallet. <laughs> and now I promised you a taste of my newest addition, so let's uh. have a drink. Oh yeah. This is Cruzeville XO. A French cognac which won a prestigious award at an international contest in 86. Yeah, I can see why. Thanks to you, I can finally serve it at my bar. This is a taste that'll have them coming back for more. Hi. Thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome to give bartending another try yeah. anytime you'd like. No, no thanks. I'm happy just being a customer. <laughs> That's a shame. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again. I still need to drink all of your drinks, so... And give me your business. Mm -hmm. If you'd like, I could help get the word out about your club. It's the least I can do for your help the other day. Really? That'd be great. Actually, don't mention it. It's important to help each other out when we can. You're a valuable customer, after all. Thanks. 700 fans. Okay.
Well, tell me I'm just gonna have to go get more. I will take one more. Cool. All right, now I'm drunk. Dun, 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 dun. Should have left the beer for last. I didn't want to take the chance that the last one made me too drunk and then I couldn't drink the beer. Uh, which way are we going? Down here. Out of my way. Do I have enough CP at this point? Ah, oh, I'm still not quite there for the golden shotgun. God of War. I want it. My dreams come true. Repair kit. Mildly useful. Repair this shotgun. Good. Alright. We, we did it! We got 2,000 fans from Club Moon area. Yep, 2,000. We're still one step closer to the boss of the five stars. Then, Takiyama. He's only uh, one mem- He's the only member of the five stars remaining. We've got to keep our guard up, sure. Maybe we should take a trip to Club Moon when we have the time. I agree. Just give us the word. 2K streamer. Hell yeah. All right. Let's go and visit Tsukiyama over Club Moon. We're coming too. Yuki chan AI chan This is the final cabaret club for us, Majima-san. I can't sit by and let you handle everything by yourself. <laughs> Fine. But if it gets even a little dicey, I'm pulling you both out of there. Okay. Club Moon. So, this is Tsukiyama's Club Moon. It's got all the bells and whistles and a great location to boot. No wonder it's the five stars best club. Wow, it has such a regal feel. I'm practically blinded by how sparkling and bright it is. You should see how it sparkles on the inside. Yeah, you don't say. Wait, who the hell are you? Um, wow, you're quite a cutie. Can we help you? Yuki-chan. You don't know who she is? Hey, chan you know her? Of course. People says she's Sotenbori's best hostess. She's Club Moon's Mana-chan. <laughs> oh, hey, chan formerly of Club Mars. I thank you for that splendid introduction. Yeah. Club Moon, hey, chan it's too good to see you. I heard you're over at Club Sunshine now, or are you having fun over there? Hi. Yeah, it's a riot. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. So, Manachan, right? What's your angle? Sniffing around us like this. Oh. But aren't you the one sniffing around? I mean, you did come to spy on us today, didn't you? <sighs> How'd you know that? Well, if you're here to spy on us, wouldn't you like a peek inside? I can give you the grand tour. What? You're just gonna show us your club? Wouldn't Tsukiyama rain fire on you if you did that? <laughs> Don't be silly. He won't get mad. To be honest, he asked me to do it. Say what? Uh, he told me you guys would come today, around this time. So, I should show you around. There's more, uh, that's more or less what he said. How does he know all this? Tsukiyama's son's pretty amazing, you know? I heard he's got lots of ways to gather information. So he saw us coming from a mile away. Come on, isn't it cold out here? Let's all go inside the club. Uh, okay with you? Yuki John, AI John, we're going back. Come with us. Huh? Really? 
You're leaving already? Why? Tsukiyama's already got us beat on the espionage angle. We're nowhere near ready to beat Club Moon in the shape we're in. No way. So let's head back for now. We gotta get Club Sunshine in top shape, quick like. I see, I see. Sounds like a wise decision. Fair warning, it won't be easy to beat Tsukiyama-san. Easy is for chumps. Our club's gonna be so amazing, even your jaw's gonna hit the floor, Mana-san. You wait and see. <laughs> Good luck! Club Sunshine, huh? Mana-san. Oh, Kotomi-chan. How's Tsukiyama-san's favorite assistant doing? I'm well. And how are they? They seem like they're having a lot of fun. Like, there's something exciting going on, you know? I see. You know, maybe you should try having more fun with this, like they do. I don't see the point. This is a business. Hmm. Is that how you really feel? Club Sunshine. Goro Manjima. Let's see how far you get. Oh, shit. All right. Who's getting kicked out for the new platinum? Probably Dolly. Yeet. Welcome on in, Hibiki. Well. Yeah, we're just missing the last platinum. Uh, time for a makeover. Because you still look normal. <laughs> Wendy's, 2B, Condiment Chan. Boo. Now let's change you. How cursed can we make this? <laughs> oh, this is going to be the outfit for sure. Oh, hell yeah. The shoulder pad suit. gonna be perfect. Give her a ring pop too. 
Oh, hell yeah. Put on the pop watch. Now we're really going somewhere. Ah, oh, isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> All right, now to buy 30 items. You know what? We'll keep you with the gorgeous watch. Your full corpa. It goes well with the rest of the aesthetic. Oh, yellow, yellow flower? Hell yeah. I actually like that more. Go with red nails. go so you have to buy 30 accessories for every girl what if there's any hairstyles we can change to we can use this one nah yuki already uses that hairstyle perfect <laughs> nah, let's keep it braided. Oh, full yellow? No, nah, it, it's it's gotta be Bulma. All right. <laughs> you may not like it, but this is what peak sexy beauty and funny looks like with absolutely no cuteness at all <laughs> she can join the clown squad i feel like we could change you like your hairstyle could be better Like, we're still keeping the french fry hair, but we could turn it into pasta. Pasta hair? Pasta hair. Now someone already uses those glasses. You have to do something else. There we go. Perfect. Now they all look distinct. Hold up. We need to change the color of your outfit. They're all kind of the same. Oh, actually, I could put you in some. Oh, we could make it the green. That way it really doesn't match. Actually, it does kind of there we go now it doesn't match perfect 
See, now they all look like main characters. See? They each look unique in their own way. All right, perfect. Let's do special training. Oh no, not more pool. No! <laughs> Fuck. All right, well, incoming bad. Pretty good. Cool. I actually don't like going first. Is that weird? I feel like you're at kind of a disadvantage. Not really, if you know how to play. So here's what we're going to do. Perfect. Beautiful. How? Actually, okay. I want to hit this. Oh no, I don't. I don't like this one, dude. I don't like this one. I mean, it's an easy shot, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel like that's it. I just need to line it up appropriately. Okay. 
No. I mean, yes. <laughs> Justice plan. What am I going for next? Four? Yeah, I don't think there's a way I'm getting four. Unless... The God Shot? I see it. There's a reality where this works. No! Okay. Alright. Well, <laughs> looks a little difficult, but I'll do my best. That should be it right there. Yeah. Nope. Never mind. Not it. It's okay. Not yet. What if she misses again? You never yeah. know. Actually throwing. Looks good. Nope. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I swear to God, if she somehow misses this. Wait. What? 
Wait, I lose. But I got more. What? <laughs> The only ball that matters in nine ball is the nine. Oh. So that's why y'all were telling me to try and touch and hit the nine ball every time. Oh. Well. Well, bad lesson. Open for business. Find the main characters. <laughs> Even Grant has purple hair. <laughs> All right, wants Chica. Chica, it is. Also wants Chica. Well, that sucks. You get Yuki. Everybody wants the two B. Also wants Chica. Man, Chica is a popular girl here. Right. You're fine with AI. Give you grandma. <laughs> Always try and go for the extension no matter what. Menu for you. Menu. Alright. I don't know why I keep saying Chica is free. Chica is currently busy. Extend? Hell yeah. Extend? Hell yeah. Extend? Hell yeah. More extensions for everybody. And we'll just fever the rest of them. Time for the grandma sweep. Give her a reward. Mm -hmm. More rewards.
Monsaki. We're gonna hope that we get an extension here. L, that's guest glass. Okay. Is this speed dating? No, it's a cabaret club. Uh, refill ice. Uh, ladies' glass. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hope that you want an extension here. Hell yeah. Cool. And once he sits down, we're gonna hit him with a tier 3 fever. Actually, let's wait for you to want to extend first, probably. Yeah, let's extend on you, then we'll fever. Actually, yeah, I just hit it now. It adds time anyway. Alright, make me money. Keep giving them the girls rewards because that's ex uh, extra XP. I like the cabaret versus the property management. Uh, that's pretty good. That's a refill the ice. Alright, 83 million, damn. Chica! The top earner of the night! Chica on top. Grandma on fifth. Ibiki in last place, but also started at level one, so understandable. You know? Congratulations, Manjima-san. We've reached 5,000 fans in the Club Moon area. We've sure come a long way. But to compete at the same level as Suki Yamahan, we're going to need to be even better. Manjima-san, I want to learn how to have a never-ending drive like you, uh, to be better like you. It's been a while, Club Sunshine. Hmm? Look familiar. My name is Kotomi. I'm Tsukiyama's assistant at Club Moon. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo. I like that wiggle. Chat. We are being wiggle rated. Please. Bobble back. Bobble back, chat. Wake up. Rue bobble. You know we defend well against here. There. There. Hello. Oh, what's Let's try this? this? Experiment. Experiment. What do we got here? Fried rice, grapes, pork cutlet. Pork cutlet. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll take a bite of the fried rice first. Hmm. 
Fried rice is good. Cleanse the palate with a grape. <laughs> and now. Yeah, be careful with that. It has an egg in it. it has an egg in it. Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. That's delicious. Yay! <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, but I tried my best, so. <laughs> Sorry, it needed more panko, like more uh, breading, but I think it's fine. I mean, but. more breading, yeah, sure, but I mean, it's delicious. Okay, enjoy. Mm. I'm off to eat my lunch. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Mmm, that's delicious. Anyway, if you want to actually see the food that I'm actually eating, uh, Bunny made it on her stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Bunny Ayu. This poor cutlet is amazing. It's like a thin piece of pork with egg covered in panko. That's good. That's good. Okay. Ah. That's right. You were there when the five stars showed up. How can I be of service? Go tell me, John. Tsukiyama directed me to pick you up. Pick me up. Where are you taking me? You would just follow me. I think you'll see. Yeah. Don't go. This has to be a trap. He's right. That pretty assistant lady can't tell you what to do. Yeah. Nah. I'm going. Don't do it. If you go, there's no telling what might happen to you. That's exactly why I gotta do it. Can't leave this to anyone else. You can John. You can John. You guys take care of sunshine till I get back. <sighs> I want to get to another main. Okay, so all main story missions are voice. So I'm gonna do a main story mission after this. So that way I can just shut up and eat this food. Cause this looks. This. Is, I want more. They're so yummy. Mm -hmm. Trying. I'll... I've brought Majima Sama. Uh. Thank you, Kutomi. <laughs> Kutomi chan, Majima san, great to see you. <laughs> How have you been, Majima san? I must say, the seating here is as uncomfortable as ever. Boy. Yo, Tukiyama, what are you doing here at the Grand? What a tone to take with a customer. From what I hear, does this not make me your king? <laughs> say what? You see, I bought out the grand for tonight. That would make me your customer, does it not? He bought out the entire cabaret club. Holy shit. Are you truly surprised? When you get to be a man of my stature, buying out a place like this is hardly uncommon. All right, what's the point of all this then? You that desperate to have a drink with me? Please. Your sense of humor is appalling. Drinking with you would be my idea of a nightmare come true. I simply wanted to pay my respects. What now? Thanks to you, only Club Moon remains out of the five stars. Not in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that a little upstart like Club Sunshine could grow so large so quickly. So I wanted to commend you on your achievements. You've certainly worked hard at it. You go through the trouble of buying out my place, then you talk down to me? That's pretty rich. <laughs> yes. Alas, this is the end of the road for you, it seems. 
Club Sunshine and even Cabaret Grand, both will meet their demise at my hands. The Grand too? What the hell are you really after? <laughs> Very well. I suppose that if you've gotten this far, I can reveal that much to you. My true objective is to take down the Cabaret Grand. <laughs> Say what? Why on earth would you want to do that? I shall answer that question if you somehow defeat me. Regardless, I think I've had my fill of this cheap swill you serve. There's nothing worse for your health, you know. Until next time. Bye bye. If you continue to oppose Tsukiyama sama, uh, I strongly advise that you prepare to face the consequences. The streets are dark when the moon is young. Damn. So that's what happened. Tsukiyama is going after Cabaret Grand. And that's why he organized a chokehold on the Sotenbori's Cabaret Clubs. Who knows why, but that's the gist of it. But what about that thing his pretty assistant said? Dark streets, new moon? It was very poetic. Yuki-chan, you're about as naive as they come. What do you mean I'm naive? I just don't know what I don't know. Eh heh heh? Hey, Ai-chan, where do you pick this kind of stuff up? Well, we've made it this far. All that's left to do now is take down Tsukiyama. You all ready to help finish this? Of course, I'll try my best. Eh heh heh heh? Me too. I can work every day. But of course, I'll do whatever you need, Majima. I owe you for taking me in, Majima-san. This is my opportunity to repay you. You guys are really something. All right, people. Club Sunshine's about to open for business. Let's go real big today. Cool. Well, let's completely take a different turn here. and do a main story mission. One main story so that I can eat my lunch and then back to Cabaret Club. What's main story? It's that thing that I ignore for hours at a time. Sometimes days. あれから怪我の具合はどうや。うん。お前あ、何のこと。この分かっとる。他に総天堀から元々<笑> 一応誰にもつけられんように
Oh, yeah, pause. By the way, um, we've been keeping some blind girl in a warehouse storage for like the last five days while we've been doing all these side quests. That's all. All right, back in. It's more a ton of the side of the girl. So, go to the next building. Look at our area. Moshi be called Sareta to Stemo, Sonoka Shido Skyba. Taita no idea, or my own music. None of the missing Kakshido and the Skondorin. Say, I can you tell her? Dare any demo, Tanini and Uran are Munye. Tony Kaku. Makoton toko yukutokiwa yojin suri ya. Saki grando no mai de karamare to tero. Omae no sujo wa yube makoto sara ni kita yakuza ni mo ware to. Dok kara minare to ka wagarande. Na. So shita ra hogushikai kan no kakushi do tsukaiba en ya na. Se ya. So ko o nuke tara ato wa masugu makoton toko ike. So ko de wa shito goryu ya. Hey, na. What up, da? Shame, na. I gotta trick. I gotta try and figure out whether I'm being watched. Time to play it cool, like I'm just strolling around and try and suss out where they're watching me from. One second. Bring my dish back down. Thank you, everybody who's been watching so far. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now's the time for you to get up, stretch, grab some water. If you haven't already. Okay? Do that. Okay, I am back. Mm. 
Ugh, I'm really glad that I left y'all with complete and total silence. <laughs> Absolute, like, nothing. Just the... Just the complete fucking void. Could have left you with this music or something. Nope. Just the void. That's all y'all get. All right. Looks more like uh, Sagawa's clowns. Guess the bastard's got uh, got everywhere I might want to go on lockdown. Ah, Hopefully that'll keep him from thinking I'm still uh, inside a while. Long enough to find this door and get gone, anyway. He said there was a bookshelf blocking the door. Secret passage! Now let's walk out. Perfect. Hey! Back to sunshine! Never thought something like this was here yesterday. Even if I was being followed. I'm clear now. Now to haul ass to where that girl is. <laughs> nope. Back to sunshine we go. Oh, I have to. No! I have to do it. Alright. All right. Fine. I'll come down here. Only because I have to. I'll do the main story. That's what I get. Great fan of fire and uh, foul. Thanks both for subbing. Appreciate that. You both for prime subbing. お前のところの店長もう来たんか今飲み物買いに行ってて、すぐ戻るって。その封筒は知らない。あなたに見てもらえってリーさんが。Oh shit. どういうこっちゃ。カッシンタイム。封筒何が入ってたの。若い女の写真や。同じ女が何枚も隠し撮りされとる。リーさんがそんなものなんで。うん。よ。早速見とるな。矢を取れてるやろ。何なんやこの写真。まあ、待てや。言われんでもこれからじっくり説明したる。さ、飲めや。ありがとう、リーさん。お前の分もあるで。Didn't even open it for me. What the hell? リー。何や考えがある言うてたんは。この写真のことか。大体この女誰や。結婚詐欺の常習犯や。それだけやない。こいつに見ついとった男が何人か不審死しとる。多分絞るだけ絞って縁切り代わりにやったんやろ。けどこの下道女のええとこは年頃と背格
お前も殺し屋にしちゃ鈍いなその写真の女はなまことの身代わりや身代わりええか殺しの依頼した時その依頼主は何が欲しいまとを殺したっちゅう結果やせや結果や殺した結果っちゅうのは死体死体があれば雇い主は納得するせやからその写真の女にはまことの身代わりに死体になってもらうんやな,なんやてわしとお前でやる死体にこの服着せてな死体見つけた札は身元確認するのにわしんどこ来るやろそしたらわしはこう答える間違いありませんその死体はうちの従業員です言うてな青かそんなん札が調べたらすぐバレるやろが大丈夫や女殺した後はその顔を誰かわからんようにしてしまえばええ指紋も薬で焼いてあるんや、oh、God. お前は何なんや一体 That's a bit extreme. Man I swear the vibe for this game can give you fucking whiplash from going from hours of cabaret club to let's murder some random lady off the street who looks like this girl beat her in the face so we can't be recognized and then burn off her fingerprints with acid なんとか言わんかい<笑>わしも元はあんたと同じ殺し屋やなんやと And then sing karaoke after. 大陸系の組織に雇われとった最後に仕事したんは半年前や半年前確かあんたがこの子拾ったんもその頃や言うてたないや覚えとったの<笑>せやけど考えてみ組織に監禁されとる女がおったとしてどないしてわしがそれを拾えんねん道端にでも落ちとるか半年前わしは組織に雇われて韓国系の連中を襲撃した女のしのぎ巡ってごたついとったんやそん時までにこっちも何人かやられとった倉庫におったんは2人そいつらを始末してみるとそこに半裸の女がぎょうさん監禁されとってな鍵開けた途端みんな割れ先に逃げよったけどそん中に1人だけ身動きできん子がおったそれがああまことやヤイクこの子は見えん目でわしの手探してなギュッと握って離さんかった泣きながらありがとう繰り返してわしはその小さい手どうにも話すことができんかったあんたはそれ以来の親代わりっちゅうわけがああせやけどわしも昔はほんまの娘持つ親やったうん小さい時から病気がちでな薬の副作用で最後はよう目が見えんようになったその仕草があん時のまことと重なりおうてもたんやマジマ
わしはもう自分より先に娘行かせるわけにいかんねや娘守るためやったら赤の他人なんぞいくらでもぶっ殺してるそれがええことやないことも分かってるせやけどもう他に手はないんやお前にも手貸してもらうでマジマお前の雇い主に誠殺した報告してもらわなあかんどうはあ極道なめすぎやそんなに小細工すぐバレるせやったら他にどんな手があるっちゅうねん言うてみ話やしまいや俺はお前の計画にはのらんそうやってまた逃げんのがわしにはわかるでお前が固めなくしてもたんもそないして逃げてきたからやろなんやとなんやかや理由つけて己の手汚さんとずっと自分を正当化してきたんとちゃうかけどお前も所詮元は極道やったんや一度黒に染まったもんはどこまで行っても黒せやったら腹決めて地獄をさらんがいお前が俺の何を知っとるんやポケ最後にもう一遍聞いとくわしの話に乗る気はほんまにないんやなないなそうかそしたら黒に染まった門の流儀教えたるわどの道わしの計画知ったからには生きてここから出すわけにはいかんなんだよ死ねやマジマAm I about, like, we, we built up a lot of tension here. Am I about to throw all that tension out the window by hitting him with an infinite ammo shotgun over and over again? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. ま、それやったらそれで俺が向かってくるもん一人残らずぶっ殺したらはな,なんやとそんなできるわけやた確かに一度黒に染まったもんはどこまで行っても黒やそっから抜けることはできんけどなそれでも噛みつく相手選ぶくらいはできるそれが俺の流儀やおいやめろやカゼヒカンように見といたれやあんたはその子の親代わりなんやろ
Damn. <laughs> He's just 24? Yeah, Majima's 24. Uh, Drunken Legends, thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate that. One second. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! It looked like Kasuga's suit. Even though I'm pretty- he wouldn't even be- Kasuga ain't even alive at this point. Right? Oh wait, no. Is he in jail? I forget. How old was Kasuga in... Like a dragon? He's in his 40s, but he was in jail most of it. He's like five right now. Okay. I'm still going to imagine that it's Kasuga, but now it's a five year old Kasuga. This makes three days. Didn't wind up changing much. If anything, things are worse now than before. Jigs up as soon as Sagawa finds out I'm keeping the girl alive. Can't risk heading to the storehouse now. Better play it cool and head to the Grand like normal. Well, oh, I gotta play it cool. Man. Now I'm locked into main story and have to keep playing the main story? What is this? Fine. There he is. The man. The myth. The legend. Where do you want me to go in here? God, the Grand is massive. Wonder if there's any cards in here. There probably are. There's probably a card or two in here. Maybe. We'll find out later. Ah, Shihaini. Ohayogozaimasu. ほぐし会館の李様という方からお電話がございました。李から。ご存知の方ですか？うん。そいつなんて言うとった？え、それが支配人にすぐその保護司会館に来ていただきたいとしかおっしゃらなくて。As he want after what happened last night. Uh, Zenza, thanks for the prime and cheese melton. Thank you as well. Appreciate that. Also, thank you everybody for all the subs today. We hit our goal. 11,000 pandas. My goal is to slowly climb up. We will have a million pandas by the end of the year. That's our goal. One million pandas. Or at least 11,001. A million Ruby Vs. One, 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 one as the next goal. 
That'll be the goal for tomorrow. What about one, two, three, four, five? We'll see. Make chat post Rude Duck. Rude Duck for everyone. Do you have the staff that can take care of a million pandas? There's not enough staff in the world to take care of a hundred, even a hundred pandas. Have you seen Ruby V? Brian, thanks for the 18 month Prime sub. Appreciate that. Bug, thank you for the Prime. You know what? Last call on Primes. Click subscribe. See if your Prime sub's available. おまじま。よう来た。待っとったで。おちょまで。何興奮しとんねん。そら興奮するに決まっとるやろ。ね。お前、水草やないか。たった一人で。せやけど、これで一件落着や。ようやったで、まじま。何の話よ。何って。お前やったんやろ。改めてお伝えします。今日未明、総天堀川で発見された若い女性の遺体は身につけていた衣類などから牧村誠さん二十歳とみられます。遺体は損傷が激しく、大阪府警では牧村さんが何らかのトラブルに
money earned through battle does not actually show the amount of money that I got from beating Mr. Shakedown over and over and over again. Climax battle items opened. Create new save. Chapter 8, Tug of War. Is this the last Majima one before I get uh, Kiryu again? I forget when I get control of him again. Okay, I'm going to want to finish the Cabaret Club before I do that then. おい、お前の雇い主やったら本人が電話してくる。電話の音が別口や。けど俺が誠の殺し命じられとんのは承知しとる口ぶりやった。となると、前にここに来たやつだとか。<笑> やつの星がったのは、マキムラマコトっちゅうことや。どないする相手はグランドで俺を待っとる。あんたは、あの子についててやれや。それはええけど、お前一人で野子野子出て行くんか。相手はお前を待ち構えとるんやで。これ以上、
もう5年くらいになるのかな You made your move. Uh, what made you move out here to work? Money. The reason for most things. Ah, I'm starting to pe、uh, put the pieces together. You work a lot, Saki chan. What are you saving for? Oh, you send money to your family? ものすごく貧乏なんですよ。両親の稼ぎだけだと、弟たちの学費どころか、家族の生活費もままならなくて、それで。You work so hard. なるほどな。Not everyone can do what you do. Really proud of you. <laughs> So you've been carrying all that weight on your shoulders, yet you show to, to work every day with a smile. Keep at it. Keep doing your best. I know you'll be fine. Oh, alright. Going back to what you said for a sec, you mentioned that part. Of money was for your dream. What dream? A nurse, huh? There's a job that takes stamina. You'd be perfect at it, Saki chan. Say, how do you become a nurse anyway? Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta do one thing real quick. Hold on, Dad.、Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't scream at me. Right. By immersion! Got it. And you're saving the money to attend the nursing school, right? Four million? No problem. At the pace you're working, you should have four million yen saved up in no time, right? That's right, you're trying to save money while managing all that other stuff. Terrible lesson. Talking to a billionaire about saving four million. <laughs> the rate at which Majima makes money, anything below a billion is worthless. Chump change. So that nursing school makes. Uh, makes you take some kind of test. Is that so you can get in? <laughs> Just throw her some cash, bro. So, can't I do that? I'm not sure. Get fired up. You just gotta fire yourself up. Where there's a will, there's a way. 
Well, man, I am fucking up every answer here. All right. Fuck. Terrible lesson. Slap me. Okay. Yes. We can just slap each other. Come with that new series, Power Slap. Alright, that, that was a lesson fail. Oh no. Yikes. All right. Open for business. Find the main character. Oh, yeah, I have to remember everybody's mega rich here or wealthy. <laughs> well, oh, it's because you want sake. <laughs> Apology gift. Tried to go for it. Alright. Trouble. Apology gift. It always works. Throw money at the problem. Oh god. Apology gift. Now you'll want to extend your session, right? Hell yeah. Apology gift. Everybody loves an apology. Extend your session. Extend it. Hell yeah. Another fever. <laughs> Expensive <laughs> gift. Another expensive gift. 
Beautiful. Good. Hey, hey. Okay. Yeah, he wants sake. I should have done an expensive gift. That's fine. Yo, you hate this. You want to extend your session? <laughs> Darn. No extension. How dare you not extend it by ten seconds? Expensive gift. Damn, still made sixty one million though. Level thirty. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san. We reached 10,000 fans from the Club Moon area. We've come a long, long way. Yeah, finally. Yep, we're finally going to go head-to-head. -head. You're... You're Manachan from Club Moon. Hi, Club Sunshine. How's everyone doing? So what brings Sotenbori's number one girl here today? Oh, you probably know why I'm here. I have a challenge for you. Tsukiyama-san said he was impressed. He said he didn't expect Club Sunshine to take down the five-star club so fast. You're a bit ahead of schedule to go up against Club Moon. So he always knew we'd beat the other clubs, huh? Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh no, he said he was impressed by you. You're really amazing, really. I can never tell if, he, if she's serious or making fun of me. Whatever. Tell Tsukiyama that overconfidence is gonna come back to bite him in the ass. <laughs> Sure, got it. Although, I can't imagine Tsukiyama ever losing. See you later. Good luck, Club Sunshine. Fallen One, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. I feel like we just got hit by a hurricane. Maybe that's the confidence that comes from being number one. I think... I think that's just her personality. At any rate, this is the final battle. Let's make sure we're, uh, make sure, sort up the staff lineup, and we're ready to take on this challenge. All right, let's do it. Last Cabaret Club battle. And then we're done with Cabaret Club, except for the fact that I need to max out the reputation with all the girls to get their side story. You mean the sad silver won't show up for the last day of work? For shame.
All right, we're looking good. All right. Kanky, you around? Asking if there's a kank. All right, let's actually see here. Can I make this? Sup? Hold on. Uh, okay. Then we'll come down here. All right. Boom. There you go. There's the names for you. All eight. All eight. I want y'all to gamba on who's going to make the most money. Who's going to make the most money? I can tell you the odds of Akina or Psycho winning are like a thousand to one. You know what? Let's... Let's see Hibiki, because this has a side quest that follows up immediately after. So let's just do customer service one for now. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Ready to get... Ready to start your training? Sure. I'm looking forward to it. Right on. Just treat me like a regular customer. That sounds like fun. I'll do my best. Let's start off easy. What are you good at? What makes you special? Get it twisted. That's right. You're taking care of your younger brother instead of your parents. Chat. I want everybody to I want everybody to put to place their bets on who's gonna earn the most money. Place your bets. Place your bets. Who's gonna win the most money? We'll close bets once this ends. Because even though it says 15 minutes, once this ends, we're closing it. How's the little guy now? なかなか言うことを聞いてくれなくて。なるほどな。うーん、どうすれば言うことを聞いてくれるのかな。うん。甘やかしすぎなのか。Whack him one. Hmm. Mm. Sometimes I guess you gotta crack down on kids. You're uh you're kind of easy going, Kabiki chan. So maybe you're handling them with kid gloves. Hmm. There's There's only, hold on, how many channel, chat, y'all can, hold on, y'all can open up your money bags a bit more, come on. Everybody dump some serious crayons into who you think's gonna win. Top one's only, like, 1.3 million? Come on. You can do better than that, chat. More in. All in. I hate that situation is passing, uh, is a passing thing. Plus... Even if he hates you now, there'll come a time. And if you're worried about losing your channel points and fear that I might actually add some sort of channel reward that there might be points, I'm here to tell you, I'm not. It will always be worthless and used for gambling. <laughs> it takes courage, but discipline's important. <laughs> Majima-kun, 
Oh, you know it. If kids are your specialty, what's your hobby? Bunny, who'd you vote for and how much did you throw in? I see you sussying. Huh? Chat, how much did you put in? Tell me. Who did you vote for and how much did you put in? ウォーキングは、まあ、お散歩みたいなものね。私、昔から病弱で、お医者さんから激しい運動はしたらダメって言われてきたの。でも、この仕事は体力も必要だし、軽いウォーキングくらいなら大丈夫かなって思ってね。
get it to 30 million prize. Get it to a nice 30 million prize pool. Wake up in Gamba. But my points. For the glory of 30 million. Give up your channel points. So that we may hit 30 million. For the glory of the Gamba. Alright. Kanki, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright. Kanki, give me the give me the Give me the spreadsheet like you did on the last one. Let me see how many points we got here. Who's gonna make the most cash tonight? Who's it gonna be? All right, let's see what we got here. Yuki with six million, Chica with six point one million, AI with three point eight million, Saki with three point seven million, Habiki with one point seven. Man, Habiki, Habiki lovers have the one of the largest payouts grandma's got 5.5 akina with 1.4 and psycho with 1.2 all right i'm gonna tell you right now anybody that voted for akina and psycho i hope you realize you've wasted all of your points Majima-san, been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish they had their clown outfits on. This is the day, Sukiyama. This is the day we end the five stars. <laughs> Your humor is even in poor taste. To lose against a man like you is unfathomable. I don't care how perfect you think you are, but nobody's a winner or a loser till they put it all on the line. You strive to pluck the moon from the from the night sky, but all you shall ever grasp is a reflection upon the water. Do not try it. Do try not to drown. You're so fancy. Shall we put an end to this charade then? Are you ready, Majima? Of course. Ready, everyone? Yes. We'll show them what Club Sunshine is made of. I'll do my best. They look like Power Rangers. They <laughs> They do. I'll show you everything I learned at Club Mercury. For you, Majima-san, I'll do whatever it takes. They do look like Power Rangers. Mana, you ready to go? <laughs> totally. I'll show you what Sotenbori's number one girl can do. All right, Club Sunshine, let's bring our brightest today. All right, who we got starting off wanting Chica. All right, good start. And they're mega rich. All right, another mega rich wants AI. Understandable. Another mega rich wants to party. Um, I'll give you grandma. Mm-hmm. Moon Devil Hand. Oh, shit. AI just got kicked out. That's unfortunate. Uh, you could take Yuki. All right, Yuki, come on in. Oh, man, they got kicked out, too. Now it's just Grandma. Wants Chica. Understandable. Another Chica lover. Oh, well, Grandma and Yuki both out. Merely wealthy. We're going to give that to... I guess Yuki. All 
All right, Hibiki it is. L, guest glass. Mega rich. Guess we'll give you AI. Menu. Menu. That'll heal her up. All right. Uh, we'll give you you. Extend session? Hell yeah. Extend session? Hell yeah. <laughs> We're all frenzied. Don't really do much. Uh, give the girl a reward for some more HP. All right, give her a reward. Grandma? Grandma's ready. She's rested. Menu? Menu coming up? There's a reward. Menu. Menu. Chica coming in. Oh, someone got knocked out there. Oh my god! Well, awkward. Taki, come on in. Menu. No! I waited too long. Ah! 
I still won! Still won. Now for now for the real part here. Who won the most money? Because this is gonna be an emotional roller coaster. Because there are a lot of times I set girls down and then immediately they got taken out. So here we go. Hold on. Can I do this? So really hold on. We're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. Well, well, there's your winner, Chica. Well, I tried to cover it, but uh, your, your number one winner, it, it's Chica over here. It's Chica. Any any Chica enjoyers in chat? Because it was Chica, then Saki, then Hibiki, then AI. I tried to hide it so that would be like a little bit of a surprise, but, you know, that's where we're at. Anyway, Chica coming in clutch once again. Way to go, Chica. Way to go. I'm proud of you. Nice. We, we won? Yes, we won. We won against Club Moon. <laughs> we won! How? How could this happen? I, I honestly, I really don't know. Because, like, looking over it, 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 it doesn't make much sense. I should have lost that. But, eh, whatever. You did it, Majima-san. Uh. We only won because we played like a team. Thanks, all of you. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone from Club Sunshine. Really, congrats. I was really going all out and still lost. Wow, I can't believe it. Man, we barely scraped by with everyone in our club against you alone, Manachan. You're kind of crazy. Unacceptable. Simply unacceptable. I cannot lose. This cannot happen. Tsukiyama. I can't lose. Not until I crush the Grand. Why are you so hung up on the Grand? Fine. As a manager of the Grand, I'll take you on myself. I got no idea what your problem with the Grand is, but go ahead and take it out on me. You're mine, Majima. Oh no! Home run! Bamba! Dick it! Dude, there's like no time to do anything. How do you even do anything without a gun? Oh well. I tried to do something other than a gun. Oh well. I completely forgot how to play this game at this point. To be fair though, I have been using only a shotgun for the last 17 hours. You ain't bad with your fist, Tsukiyama. I don't need your consolation. I've been defeated. I lost. Alright, Tsukiyama, spill it. 
Why were you so obsessed about taking down Sotenbori's cabaret club scene? You got something against the Grand too? Don't you think it's time you come clean? My true objective was to destroy Cabaret Grand, the place that killed my mother. It killed your mom? I grew up without a father, you see. My mother worked day after day, earning very little money in bars and clubs. She raised me with that money. It was by no means a life of luxury, but we were happy. But one day, my mother was fired. She was accused of stealing from the club. Of course, my mother swore in her life that she was innocent. She may have had many pro she may have had money problems, but she was far too ethical to stoop to so low as stealing. In the end, the clubs didn't believe a thing she said. Of course, she was blacklisted. No other club would hire a woman accused of theft. My mother's job search went nowhere. Our meager savings dwindled. At her wit's end, she took out a life insurance policy on herself and committed suicide. That's terrible. <laughs> I found out that later that the real thief was a club employee who was in charge of the books. If only the club's management had investigated even a little deeper at the time, or if they'd even considered that my mother might not have been lying, she wouldn't have had to die. And you're telling me that club yeah. was... Yes, it was the Grand. The very place you manage. Of course, this was all before your time. The manager in charge then was a complete and utter fool. Still, my hatred for the Grand will never die, as long as I live. That's why I couldn't lose until I destroyed the Grand. That's why I put together the five stars. Manachan? Tsukiyama-san. Mana, I'd like to offer you a drink. Excuse me? I can imagine how sad you were to lose your mother. And the people who ran the club were awful. They should have had their act together. But if you keep living for hate and revenge, the life your mother gave you will just go to waste. From now on, let's live a little. Let's laugh a little. Your mother would probably cry if she knew you went through life wearing all that pain on your face. <laughs> Places like cabaret and cabaret clubs exist so people uh, have a place to be happy and smile. <laughs> Just live, laugh, and love, man. That easy. Look, I get wanting revenge for the past. That's only natural, but there's something you ain't noticed. Thanks to your five stars, lots of people lost their jobs, their money, or whatever. Their lives are screwed now. You're putting all kinds of people through the exact same hell you went through. Sure, I knew that going in, but it was all necessary. See, that's precisely why cabaret and cabaret clubs exist. They're for times like that. Pain, sadness, regret. Everyone's got them, big or small, and they gotta carry that shit around every day. Sometimes it's too heavy to carry around by yourself. Sometimes you want someone to talk to. Sometimes you just want a drink to forget. Ain't, ain't it our job to stand by someone like that and help them enjoy a little bit of time where they can forget all that? You're carrying too much by yourself. What you need is Club Sunshine's finest to help you forget whatever it is you want to forget. What do you say, everyone? Certainly. You're right, Majima-san. Let's all have a drink together. Mana. Hey, Tsukiyama, pull yourself together. Bro, he just got shot. What'd you think he fell over from? He just, bang, falls over. Hey man, you okay? Get, come on, get up. Don't try to speak. Someone call an ambulance. What the hell? Uh, What the hell are you doing? Tsukiyama-sama, no, it's just Tsukiyama. Thank you for everything. Truly, it was the it was only in the end that you became useless. Kotomi, aren't you on Tsukiyama's side? Aren't you his assistant? Yes, I was his assistant until now. My eyes are having a seizure. 
That's all in the past. If Tsukiyama can't earn anymore, then I have no further need of him. I was merely using Tsukiyama as a revenue stream. Otomi-chan, thinking on it now, the five stars were a joke. Hino, Kizuka, Mizumura, Kanahara, none of them had any business sense at all. Useless trash, all of them. I should have gotten rid of them a lot sooner. You conniving. Goro Majima, once I get rid of you, there won't be anyone left standing in my way. Listen up, boys. Dispose of Goro Majima and everyone else here. Kill them all. Please, wait. What is it now, Tsukiyama? Begging for your life is so base. It's not my life I'm begging for. The girls here have nothing to do with the five stars atrocities. Leave them out of this, at least. Tsukiyama, you've gone soft. I'm begging you. <laughs> Very well. You've been a useful shield for me until now. So I'll honor your final request. But in, in exchange, Goromajima, owner of Club Sunshine? What? Come to the Grand. We'll settle things there. I'll be waiting. You need to answer for interfering with my profits. I'll make you pay with your life. And my eyes are still seizuring. What? Hey! Majima Sano! Oh, no one. Everyone's just staring. Hey, yo, he dying. I have no right to ask, but would you grant me one last favor? Please, help Katomi. She's. I think she's a really good person underneath all this. Please, pull her back from the brink. Make her see where she's gone astray. Just as you did for me. You got it. I'll stop her. I'll give her a lesson she won't forget. Majima-san, that's the spirit. Tsukiyama, hang in there. Tsukiyama! <sighs> Tsukiyama's in a coma, in critical condition, because people can only die in cutscenes. <sighs> Thankfully, that wasn't a cutscene. I see. Well, at least he's still alive. But I can't believe Tsukiyama's assistant, Kotomi, was the mastermind pulling the strings behind the scenes. Yes. As long as she's still around, Sotenbori's entertainment district will be under a dark cloud. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, going to the Grand? Yeah. I can't afford to let her make the Grand her personal hangout. I'd start to lose my other customers, and I won't stand for that shit. Besides, I made a promise to Tsukiyama. Yeah. That's the kind of man you are. Please. Do this for me as well, for Club Sunshine, and for the future of the Cabaret Club business. Please defeat that mad woman. Of course. Please, come back alive. I hear ya. Here's 10 billion yen. Cool. You recruited Mana. Alright. Well... Now we need to head to the Grand. Except we also need to head to the Grand for the main story. Yikes. <laughs> Which one's gonna trigger first? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I can do? Boost my health up even further. more let's buy all these skills I'm not going to use More. 
I missed the time when we used combat. So do I. Alright, that's all of them that I can buy. That's all of them I can buy here. And that that's every I've purchased every skill now. I have to I have to break these locks first. And then I can buy the remaining skills. These are all hidden behind locks. So we have to do training first. Which is something I'll do tomorrow. There we go. Tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow. Hello? Oh, hi. What's going on? Yeah, thanks for calling me. Right away. What a clunky ass bag. <laughs> Suddenly, side quest. All tension. Gone. You wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone, huh? No. That's not what you're calling about? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. That bad actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh, all right. I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know who to call, okay? Bye. <sighs> Doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? Don't they know how much I had to beg uh, for this thing? Boy. Welcome to the 80s. Hey, buddy. Uh... Were you just chatting on the phone through that clunky, uh, chunky bag you got there? Pardon? Yes, exactly. I was, uh, I was talking using this. That's pretty wild. Is it some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. A bag phone. Who puts a phone in a bag? Oh, really? You don't know? It's all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile telephone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. From now on, People will be able to carry telephones uh, with them all the time. You'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime, and anywhere. A mobile telephone, huh? Crazy. But what's the point of carrying a phone with you all the time? You're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You could be in touch with your friends and family all the time. You could even call up your mom right now if you wanted. Uh, sure, I guess I could see the use in that. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? You should head to the store and get, uh, get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah, yeah right. I'm guessing that thing costs an arm and a leg. Riding the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah, it's more expensive than I should even say. I figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to pay phones with the rest of the peasants. Hmm. But weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make a call. So I see. Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology, my bag phone, to place your call. Whoa, you sure about that? Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future today. You just need to understand, uh, you need to understand just what the bag phone represents. Aren't I generous? Bag phone, huh? Guy says it's state of the art. Do I want to see what it's all about? Not really. Thanks for the offer. But maybe some other time. Huh? But it's a bag phone. I'm carrying the future of conversation on my shoulders. And I'm carrying enough spare change to make a call. Why are the masses so blind? All right, chat. We have many, many things to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to, I guess we'll start off with this little side quest. Yep. 
bag phone tomorrow and then we finish off the cabaret club and also we finish off everything for the main story look at that look how much look how much we've completed this game 71.12 percent look at this defeat 50 enemies in oh god i'm gonna have to defeat 500 enemies 200 enemies in thug style does using a shotgun count as using thug style Use 30 different heat actions. Nice. 500 in each. 45 different gears. So many sub stories to do. God, we have a lot of shit to do. But we've almost finished out the business. Why does it say 48 out of 84? I guess that goes under... Oh, no. It's 84 out of 99. There we go. Yeah, we're almost done with that. And for sub-stories? Look at this. We're almost done here, too. Oh, God. We're going to have to do a lot of other things, aren't we? Yep. We got a lot of things to do, chat. Oh my god. 10 million in poker, blackjack, roulette. We have so many things to do. We're going to have a mini game day. Mahjong as well. Oh my god, there's so much Mahjong. There's so much Mahjong. Well, there's a lot to do. But, either way, I want to thank you all for watching. You've all been absolutely fantastic. I will see you all again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I want to thank you all for being here today. You've been just great. Uh, thank you for all the subs, the resubs, the tips, the bits, everything you do to support me. I really do appreciate that. I'll be back again tomorrow, 10 a.m. Standard Time. All that good stuff. At least I think so. What is today? What is today? What is today? Today's Monday. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Tuesday, normal stream. It's going to be a good time. We should finish up some of Majima's side. Also, I'll probably be on later tonight. Uh, I'll probably be on later tonight to do... Uh, probably some very boring side stuff like Mahjong. So that'll, that'll be some good old rescue content. Mahjong. Copious amounts of Mahjong. Alright, cool. Get out of here.